Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Platinum Guide. This is for Clissa Protocol and I've got a lot to explain. To begin with, it does start for Prologue which takes about 5 minutes so I'm just going to use this time to explain our sort of POA plan of action we're going to be going through here and what you can expect and just basically a bit more information about further videos I'm going to be doing. So yeah, this first one, it's a full Platinum walkthrough guys. So we're going to be starting on Maximum Survivor. If you want to get Platinum in one playthrough, it must be started on Maximum Survivor. And um, the reason I'm doing this again, I've already done a Platinum guide for this way back when the game first released. It's because a few things have changed since the game first came out. It's been quite a few updates, you can skip cutscenes now, a few collectibles have been moved, well more than a few, probably about six collectibles have been moved. Most of them, they're just a little bit, literally like a few seconds away from where they were originally. But it's one or two which are in a completely different place. And um, so that's um, one of the reasons I'm doing this again, guys. And also, I'm doing the full 100% trophy for this now. Now all the DLCs have been released. Well, I hope they have. <laughs> I hope there's no more to come out because I am pretty much... On this, it's similar, similar to right mode, which was quite fun actually. Yeah, I've been through this game about 25 times now in this last few weeks. Literally about 25 times. Yeah, and I'm finally thankful I don't have to play this ever again. I hope there's no more DLC. They should have made it more fun by... Give some unlockable weapons and such, but they haven't. They've just tweaked the difficulty settings. But yeah, Maximus Fiver to begin with, guys. I'm going to be taking you through everything, explaining everything along the way, the best strategies. But what we're doing now, in my first, in my original guide, my um, when the first game first released, we exploited the checkpoint system quite a bit because you can reload checkpoint. The game. Check, the game auto saves a lot. It's very, very generous with its checkpoints. And if your battery ever gets low, you can just reload checkpoint to recharge it. And it's a very, very useful tip. But the thing is, if you get too dependent on it, it messes up your contagion run. Because in contagion mode, that's not for, not required for platinum, but it's required for 100%. And you see that contraband pack, guys? That's a pre-order exclusive, I think, or a season pass or something like that. Don't worry if you don't have it, it gives you 800 credits if you sell it, but I dropped it, I'm not going to be using it so don't worry. And there's your first collectible guys, first room on your left is your first collectible, make sure you grab it. That's not moved I don't think, I think that's always been in the same place, even after updates. So yeah, make sure you get our first collectible. And that contraband pack, if you have got it and you want to use it, use it guys, I'm just not using it just because I don't want to mess up my upgrade path for those which don't have it. On each new game plus, you actually get another one of them. So if you, you've got one now, you sell it. If you continue to new game plus on the same save, you get another one. So it's quite good in that way. Basically, it gives you like an extra grand or so each playthrough. Um, but yeah, what what's I talking about, guys? Oh yeah, co uh, contagion mode. Yeah, so contagion mode. Yeah, you can't. There's no water saves. So if you get too hung up on them reloading auto saves to recharge your battery. It messes up contagion mode because you can't recharge your battery in that way. So certain encounters where you relied on your grip to kill enemies really fast. Because it does really help your grip. You can drop enemies out of bounds and kill them really quickly if you know where to drop them. But because you can't recharge it on contagion mode with reloads, it can throw you in the deep end a little bit because you run into battles and um, or you might just run out of battery and you're not prepared for it and you can get caught out. So the way I'm planning this now, this first playthrough we're doing, the full platinum, I'm going to sort of show you my strategies we're going to be using for hardcore and contagion guys. So this is going to be sort of nice benchmark to get you prepared for contagion mode. It's not going to give you any bad habits, everything you learn here is going to prepare you for contagion mode. So it's going to make Contagion a little bit easier. But because you can reload checkpoints, or if you're finding a particular strategy too difficult, just remember, there are autosaves here. If you just 
You don't have to try to follow me exactly. If something is proven to be too difficult, you can just re reload checkpoint, guys, and um, recharge your battery and do it a bit easier. I try to mention the different ways you can do different encounters. It's just important. Try to follow me, more or less. But if some parts are proven a bit tricky, you know, just give in. Reload checkpoint, get your battery back. We've still got a lot more playthroughs to do. So it's not like you've got to be perfect in this one. You can sort of slowly learn it as you go through. You've got playlists about five times, 400%, unfortunately. For all trophies, yeah, about five playlists. It's officially four, if you look at the trophy list. You've got to play Maximum Survival once. You've got to do Hardcore, Hardcore New Game Plus, and Contagion Mode. So officially four, according to the trophy list. But because, 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 because. Because you need to max upgrade everything and you cannot do it in hardcore and hardcore new game plus. I I've tried even collecting every single thing, killing everything, you just don't get enough guys. Because of that, you have to do a normal new game plus playthrough straight after this one. Unfortunately, not straight after, but at some point, unfortunately, just so you can fully upgrade everything. And also, the Hardcore New Game Plus trophy will also pop the new, normal New Game Plus trophy. Um, but you'll probably be doing New Game Plus anyway, just to max upgrade everything. So we're doing, yeah, this is a prologue, guys. It's over pretty quick. Not too much to um, point out there, as you can see. you probably noticed the length of this video, it's almost 4 hours, almost every single playthrough we're going to do on this is going to be about 4 hours long. Speedrunners are doing this in about 2 hours, yeah they're doing about 2 hours but because we're collecting almost everything along the way, um, obviously it's taking longer and we're doing platinum, platinum along the way and um, I always forget to mention this always. I've got a text guide for this, you'll find it linked in the description. Yep, everything we're doing here, I've got a text guide as well. So look in the description guys, you'll find a link to that, it's all updated. Um, but I've also made it in a way, so you can use it for every single playthrough. Hardcore and Contagion Mode, like I say, because I've rooted this in a way we're going to do Contagion Mode, everything will work out pretty much the same. All you're doing in this room, in your cell, just look at the ceiling till you hear the little um, music melody play. And then look down and pick up the pink Rubik's Cube. Yeah, it fell out of my pocket. My mummy told me this would repel monsters. That's why I've always got it with me. And here we are, finally awake guys. So this is chapter two. Oh my god. Is it, what's it called? Is it called Outbreak? I think so. But yeah, here you are in the prison. We need to escape. So just gonna head downstairs and meet Elias. He'll give you the trusty shift, which is also a spanner, but we never use the spanner. You get another story trophy. In desperate times. Call for desperate measures. Yeah, you have to do this every single playthrough. You have to come all the way through here, do this tutorial in the control office. Squeeze through that. Yeah, that's it. Tense your buttocks. If you get stuck, just give them a little, uh, little sort of squeeze. And that should allow you to squeeze through. Don't worry, this bridge is safer than it looks. Yeah, come across here. Open the door with your shift. The handy shift. Just try not to snap it. Le leverage really helps. Just remember that. It's not on the tutorials about leverage. So you just have to make sure you bear it in mind. And, uh, but just don't force too hard. Yeah, you come in here and you just to uh, crash the party in here. And dodge these attacks. Dodge in. Oh, 
That's it, give him a bit of a shock. Hit a home run. And then send him overboard. Say hi to your mum for me. Right, and now we can kill this guy. Yeah, don't let him kill you. You do not want that to happen to you. Yeah, just try not to lose your head when you're fighting this guy. Yeah, you probably noticed my settings at the start. So, when you're supposed to dodge these, you're supposed to hold left, and then hold right, and then hold left, and right. Um, but if you've got combat accessibility options, and you turn it on to auto dodge, then you can just hold left or hold right, and you'll dodge automatically. Just do not hold forward or back. Always hold left or right. And they can attack either once, twice, or three times. So they can either do a combo, uh, a single combo, a two combo, or a three combo. Just watch what they're doing, and when they've stopped swinging, then attack them. And when you finish your combo, your combo is always a bit random as well. Sometimes you'll do like you'll do a two combo, or you might do a three combo. But you'll, you'll sort of be able to tell when your combo's finished because your final attack will be sort of more powerful and will knock the enemy back. And um, the way the combat works, it's a little bit weird in this game. You basically just trade in blows like this again. You see me, I knocked him back. That means it's his turn to attack. Yeah, you take it in turns. We're all very respect respectful of each other here. That's pretty much all you do, guys. Dodge, like say, hold left or hold right. Do not hold forward or back. So you can hold black to dodge, but you, uh, sorry, to block. But you take a bit of damage when you do that. Yeah, you take a bit of damage. But if they've only got one arm, they will only do a one combo. I think before they updated the game, even if they had one arm, they could do like a double combo. There's another collectible here, guys. That collect ball has moved that collect ball was at the end of the chapter before but now it's there on that ch uh, that table in the cafeteria so do not forget that collect ball guys yeah that was at the end of this chapter in the control room um, but it's been updated since so here's another another guy so yeah if you just if you knock an arm off Then you know he's only going to do one combo at a time. Yeah, so if you knock if you knock a arm off, you can basically start attacking after they've attacked you once. Yeah, grab that health injector. What I do with these, I sell these. So all these health injectors, try not to use them. What you'll find is if you get low in HP, the game will start dropping like it's called health gel. Basically, like it's not a health injector, but it's. It's basically like a green plaster bandage. Right. And you can pick them up and so they actually refill your health. So rather than use a health Cap. injector, which Have sells for 100, save them. The and as well as well the ammo, guys, all the ammo I sell throughout the game and the health injectors add up to a lot of money. If you don't sell all the ammo that I do, or a similar amount to me, or the health injectors, you're going to probably get a lot less money and at the end of your two playthroughs you might not have enough to fully upgrade everything so let's your energy converter I do get 2000 extra after upgrading everything at the end Yeah, n about when I've upgraded everything I've got about two two thousand two and a half thousand credits to spare and um, you can also go into final transmission from a from that new game plus end game file and get about five thousand more so yeah, you do have quite a bit to play with. But um, it also comes in quite handy with upgrading things when I do. Yeah, you want to be upgrading stuff when I do, but if you're not if you're not selling your ammo or your health injectors, you're gonna get less credits. So just try to try not to use your ammo guys and just sell all your ammo. You can pretty much just sell all your ammo whenever you get to reforge. Sell everything, all you want to keep is your batteries. Just sell everything. The point when we start saving up ammo is chapter chapter seven. Yeah, chapter seven is when I start saving ammo just for the boss fights. Yeah, but before then, you don't really need much. 
So yeah, that's where all your files are located, and that's how many we have at the moment. Through here, and there's a chest here, guys. This has always got 50 credits in, and an energy converter, I think it is. Oh, sorry, no health injector. I'm allowed to make a mistake. I'm not looking at my text guide, I've just been through it so many times, I've pretty much memorised everything, except for the contents of that chest. That chest is the only fixed chest in the game, I think. That's always got health injector inside and 50 credits. To be honest, um, the first reach, Reforge you come to, there's always 800 credits in there as well. Yep, and come down here, guys. Well, sorry, up Lights. here. Found the elevator. Heading up now. Good. Now this detour might actually work for us. Look, there's a weapons lockup just past the infirmary. Good place to gear up. You'll need to watch out, though. Security units are back online. <gasps> yeah, so first vent, there's some health gel. No Did you see them, detected. that drawer? No, sorry. This is the wrong place. Ignore me, I was looking down and I looked up at the screen, I've got an event, I thought I was somewhere else. So when you come here, do not call out the vent when that robot is in that room, because he will see you and he will instant kill you. So wait till he leaves the room, and then climb out. And once you get to about here, walk, do not sprint, uh, sorry, crouch guys, crouch. Yeah, do not, sp once you come out of the vent, do not sprint because he will hear you. You can walk a little bit. But then you need to start crouching about where I do. Yeah, if you sprint, you'll make a lot more noise. Um, so just with your proximity, obviously you make the most noise when you're sprinting. A little bit less when you're walking. But you make the least noise when you're crouching. Threat condition so yeah, just crouch for this whole section. These robots will instant kill you. If you're on contagion mode, you do not want one of these to spot you. You will not be very happy when you're at the end of the chapter and you die, trust me. If any of you have been through this game, you remember the pipe slide in chapter chapter 4? I love that in contagion mode. I love it. So when out here, give the robot a minute and he'll walk to the right. Now we can stand up, we can walk, and then I walk up to this, get the health injector, and then we can sprint, because he's far enough away. And you want to turn left and come all the way over here, guys, and you'll find another collectible. This collectible has moved. That was not there on release. On release, it was in this room here. In the surgery, you see our chest there? I'm going to leave you to open it. Yeah, you want to get out of fuse. Yeah, that collectible used to be here, but now it's where I just said it was. Where we picked it up from. Yeah, that chest we went past. Perhaps I didn't loot it for a very special reason. But if you're intrigued, you know, for the curiosity of some of you, you may want to have a look inside. And this guy... Yep, he's really hot. So don't touch him. Just touch him with your crowbar. Gently, that's it. Until he falls over and doesn't get back up. Yeah, you probably know already. Stomp on enemies to get credits from them. Almost every enemy will drop something. Just make sure you press triangle. This is three I meant. So these two drawers have got health gel inside him. Always have health gel. So open them. You probably find... you've got full health so nothing will happen but yeah if you ever get low health the game will start dropping them more often yeah the game is sort of dynamic with the loot it drops if you're low in health it will drop more health gel if you've got not a lot of ammo it'll, it'll drop a lot of ammo and um, it just really it does this tip I'm about to provide it this doesn't really help much on um, normal mode because you get so much ammo but in hardcore and contagion mode once you've got over like 30 ammo of every weapon you stop getting ammo drops for that weapon and you actually start getting more health injectors yeah so this room guys just dodge your way to the vent that's it just dodge them and then once one's finished attacking quickly get in this vent that's it yeah just dodge your way here guys easy 
Just wait for somebody, get close to the vent, dodge some attacks, and then quickly turn around and climb up. They can't attack you while you're climbing up into it. Here, interact with the console. Get your baton ready, guys, because once you come to the store, this guy's going to pop out. And if you attack him, you can knock him out onto the spikes. Like so. Impale him. He can be a bit of decoration there. And then just make sure you slash him to see if he drops anything. Come out here, go left. Beneath here, left again. And then we'll take a right through the next door. Back into the cell block. So up here, there should be a health injector on the right in the wall box. All wall boxes will have a health injector inside. Remember that little piece of info. And out here, you don't need to kill these enemies if you're sprinting through the area. But if you want the collectible, you have to kill these. So you want to kill this guy. There'll be three enemies. Once There'll be two to begin with, but once you've killed one, a third one will appear. Just remember, make sure you're always holding left or right. Right, take out a second enemy. Third one will appear in a second. Like I say, there he is. He normally appears once you've killed his boyfriend. The first enemy. Right, two down, one to go. Yeah, because um, I don't remember the game being like this, but um, now if they if the enemy is too close to you, you can't interact with things. It becomes blocked, and this click ball in this next room, it. If these enemies are too close, you can't pick it up. That's why you need to really kill them first when you want the collectible. So yeah, once you killed him, hop over here. Go right into Elias' cell. And yeah, grab his collectible. Try not to sniff because he left a big dump in the toilet. That's it. That's all the collectibles, guys. That's all we need. So once you've got all the collectibles of this chapter, you can come over here and interact with the elevator. This elevator as well, if you sprint through here, say for example you've already got that collectible, so you sprinted past the enemies. If the enemies follow you up and they're too close to you, you can't interact with the elevator. So you have to sort of be fast to get there before the enemies get too close. So you can interact with it without having to kill them. You just have to be quick. Yep, so this will be a story cutscene. Always triggers when you try to escape. I know it says be quiet there, you don't have to be quiet. Just sprint over to you. And a collectible used to be in that room. That room back there. Yeah, used to be a collectible in there. Back on release. But they moved it in the update. It was that log where we found the cafeteria. That first log of this chapter. And they come through here. And that's going to finish that chapter, guys. So what are we? 25 Only 25 minutes in. Right, and now we're going to begin the aftermath. So, aftermaths. This one. So um, this chapter begins, it's quite tricky to begin with, you have to run down these steps and then down these steps here. And once you've done that guys, you've pretty much done the hardest bit of this chapter. And then we'll come through this door and this enemy will be waiting for you on an ambush. He's been waiting for you for the whole game. But now we found him, we're just going to kill him. Yep, just melee to death. Just remember to trade blows with him. Just respect his turn. Let him finish his turn. And then you take your turn. And they come through here. There'll be an auto safe. And we're going to be at the first reforge in a second. So this room. Over here. You can interact with the um, food cabinet. For a health gel. Over here there's going to be four lockers. See what goodies you can find inside. Probably loads of credits. You can smash these two cabinets. The glass cabinets, by the way, they're a little bit random. Sometimes they have loot in, sometimes they won't. So just remember that. You want to interact with the reforge first, sell all these. So you see them health injectors I had, I had four. 100 apiece, 100 apiece, that just sold for 400 altogether. So they really, they really, really help, guys. Just selling all them health injectors. And then loot his chest, sell everything again. Sell all your ammo, don't be shy. And then upgrade the 
So we don't upgrade by, well, craft the handgun. The hand cannon, it's called. Don't confuse this with the Resident Evil hand cannon. It's not that good. It's still probably a pretty good weapon, though. It's a good all-round weapon. And um, it's pretty much the one I use for make the rest of the game. And then if you've got enough, you want to buy this first upgrade to the stun button. The upgrade on the on the right. I spit too quickly, I didn't even see what I, I purchased. Uh, but yeah. Because what you want to buy first for the um, stun button, you're trying to get to block break. You want to be able to break a enemy's block when you're attacking them. You probably notice when you're melee an enemy and they block it, it's a bit annoying. So that's the first upgrade we're working towards. You won't have enough yet to buy it fully. Maybe if you had the contraband pack and you sold it. But yeah, that's what we're going through first. I'll tell you exactly what I upgraded in a second. Yes, yeah, so this guy should be ready to um, just dodge him first and then do the normal thing. You can melee him and then do a snapshot once and then melee again, then snapshot, melee, snapshot and just repeat that to kill these guys quick. Yeah, it was um, stun button increased velocity alloy sheath. Never upgrade the middle row on the um, on the stun button guys. Never upgrade the middle row. Only later on, obviously in New Game Plus, whatever, and you're trying to do all the upgrades, you can upgrade it then. But yeah, you never want to upgrade it. Um, normally, when you upgrade your things the first time and you're trying to choose the best upgrades. You also do not want the upgrades which makes it so you sort of lock onto an enemy's weak points. Not very good, especially when you've got auto aim mine. So that first enemy down the bottom there, we actually stealth killed him. Um, but it's acid enemy, you want to dodge his acid to begin with. And then run up to him, get close and he should swipe. And then you can start attacking. These guys always attack once. When they swing for you, they'll only swing once. So you remember that with these acid guys. And if they ever do like a grab, almost always after they grab you, they'll do try to do a acid spit afterwards. So what I normally do if they grab you, you might want to sort of start moving left or right to dodge it and then get back to attacking them normally. That's it, come through here, break the glass, and you should find something on that desk. All this loot I'm showing you, loot is a bit random. But it's always loot in the spots which I'm showing you, unless it hasn't spawned. I think sometimes loot can glitch out as well. Like it should appear, but sometimes it just won't appear, no matter how many times you sort of restart checkpoints. So when you crawl out of this vent, you want to try to move quietly as the game is advising you. And you want to sneak kill this first guy. You don't have to, it's just if, you, if you're noisy, you're going to alert them both. Uh, but this way, you only really have to take care of this one. So, I silent kill him, stomp on his head, and then walk up here. Don't sprint, you're going to trigger the other guy. And once you get that audio, saying that basically the door is closed, access denied, come back, walk to them crates. Once I jump over them, I can start sprinting then. And um, you want to come and harvest this implant from this guy. This is a collectible, but this one is story related, so you can't miss it. We can't actually loot it until you go to that door and it says access denied. You'll be doing this quite a lot, so get used to it. Yeah, sticking your shiv in the back of people's necks and pulling out their implant. Yeah, now we're going to go into laundry. So that guy by this point, if you've been doing it about the same pace as me, he should be walking back inside after doing one lap. So I walk over here, once you get to the door and it unlocks, then I start sprinting. So over here, you're going to get wake up this guy on the floor. He's pretending to be asleep, but we're not going to fall for that. You're going to be ready for him, he's probably going to grab you. And once you shove him away, normal enemies, when they grab you, 
you can almost attack them straight after. It's just the acid enemies, which when they grab you, you want to get ready to dodge your acids and then attack him. But yep, get rid of him. Hardcore, by the way. Hardcore difficulty is the hardest difficulty. Um, and Contagion mode is a little bit between Hardcore and Maximum Survivor. Yeah, if you just want some it to... Um, I guess some it to refer it to, you know, how different they are compared to Maximum Survivor. Yeah, loot them two glass cabinets. Grab this collectible. Officer Pruitt Matos. And then loot his chest, guys. Yeah, if you ever need to discard anything, you want to discard batteries to begin with. And then start to discard health injectors. But hopefully you shouldn't need to discard too much. On chapter 5, you'll get your inventory space will double on chapter 5. Yeah, you also get a free health refill in chapter 5 as well at the start. If you're low on health at the end of chapter 4, once you begin chapter 5, you get all your health back. See, if you come down here, yeah, that's a bit glitchy, that object, object, it doesn't clip in properly at times. Now here, wait for the enemy to escape into the vent, and then open this. Don't open it before, otherwise you're going to trigger him, and he's going to attack you. So wait for him to escape, and despawn, and then open this door. Come near, grab the um, pristine energy converter, and if you're doing a new game plus, by the way, you don't have to come in here and get all these items. And also, you know the laundry room we just went in and grab that last collectible? You don't have to go in there either. You only have to come in here for like 100%. You actually see on, when we do hardcore and contagion mode, you'll see that I don't come in here. You still get, you still get plenty, of, um, plenty of credits. Because you'll find most of your credits, they come in the later chapters. These early chapters don't really get you much. It's the later chapters where you get the most credits, just because the items you find sell for a lot more. Uh, but these early chapters, all you really find is like energy converters or pristine, which don't really sell for much. Hardcore mode as well, everything sells at half price. Enemies drop much, much less items as well. It's crazy just how how little ammo you find in hardcore mode. Literally between between the start of the game and chapter five, you find literally about forty ammo total. It's so low on ammo drops in hardcore. So in the secret room, come in here, and um, there's actually a trophy for finding all the secret rooms as well. Yeah, grab this uh, collectible, secret room one from Duncan Cole, and then loot his chest on the way out. That pristine energy converter will always be in there, but everything else is a bit random. So yeah, at this point, I'm running out of space. So I actually discarded a health injector. One ammo sells for a lot less than health injector, but in terms of taking up an inventory space, if you get a full stack of 12 ammo or whatever it is, it sells for more than a health injector. That's why I discarded the health injector to pick up the ammo. Because if, full, if I can get that ammo to be a full stack before the next reforge, it's going to sell for more than what the health injector was. So once you get back in here, guys, do not open that door yet or go close to it. Because you'll find, and you want to shoot your weapon once just to um, alert the enemies outside. There's two enemies waiting outside here. And for some reason, if you make some noise, they just run away like that and despawn. If though the door is open, they run away. So yeah, just do that. Shoot your gun once, you get their attention. Wait a few seconds, and once they get into the vent, you can come outside. And you don't have to fight them then. And then make your way down here. And this enemy will burst out. Yeah, if you're not getting collectibles, when you come to the laundry area, you will just come straight down here and avoid them to sort of detour if you took into um, the workshop and the laundry room. Yeah, so kill that enemy. Stomp on him. Come around here. Do not forget this collectible we're going to be getting in a second.
Yes, yeah, so there's corpse down there. You want to loot that corpse for its implant. I'm in medical. Keep going to the back exit. I'll contact you there. Yeah, loot that. Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Um, audio lock. So do not forget that collectible, guys. And then loot his chest. Yeah, the only thing which isn't random in the game, apart from a few of these chests to begin with, is any energy converter drops, pristine energy converters, decoders, pristine decoders, CPU printers, and pristine CPU printers. They're the only things that most of the time are fixed. And after that cutscene, guys, you'll get the grip. Grab this gate fuse, because you're going to need it in a second. Very important. Yeah, there's a few things which are fixed, but not many. You know, a few drops. So break that glass, come over here, and you want to launch your enemy out of the way. So I'm actually going to kill these three because um, in my first in my first guide for this, we actually get through this door and uh, we get to the next checkpoint and we reload it, which uh, despawns all these enemies. Uh, but you find a contagion mode, you can't do that. So we're going to kill these. And contagion mode, certain enemies actually drop pristine energy converters. And it's the only di difficulty where that happens. But you'll find here, once you've killed the first enemy, two more will spawn. But, if you've got that first enemy, if you grab him, launch him out of the way behind you, and then slot in the gate fuse, you can actually get through this next door. And if you kill the enemies through the next door in the sort of reforge room, then you only actually have to kill two. Whereas if you fight them in here, like I'm doing, you have to fight three. But in order to put a gate fuse in before you kill the enemies, you have to make sure no enemies are close. So that first enemy where the game slows down for you to use grip, like I say, you have to launch him behind you, away from the gate fuse, so you'd normally grab him, spin around, lob him behind you, run over to the gate panel, gate fuse panel, slot it in before he gets close, come in here. Yeah, in this room, if you kill the enemies in this room, they will chase you into here. You only have to fight two of them. Not like I just fought three. So just remember that. It's good to know for future reference. So yeah, you want to just sell everything. If you've got no space, then grab all this loot. You've got a health injector. You've got a battery pack. Save that battery pack if you can. Loot these three lockers. Yeah, try to save that battery pack. Especially on other difficulties, you're going to need it. Please especially on selection. contagion mode. Yes, yeah, so if you've got enough, you want to buy block break now. And the next, what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade the hand cannon next. That's always the first upgrade you want to go for, guys. Block break on the stun button. So now onto the um, onto the hand cannon. You don't need to upgrade the ultimate fight at the top. No need to do that. All we want on this. Is, um, we want to get the damage upgrade first. So you don't have to get that upgrade on the right. Yeah, just enough to get the damage upgrade. And we'll get that upgrade on the right later. Because what I do, I normally go for block break on the stun button. I go for the damage upgrade on the hand cannon. And then I go for the first damage upgrade on the stun button next. But that's probably all you can do at this point. So once you've done all that, we're going to go left here. Yeah, just uh, looting that from him. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be an autosave up here. And if you sprint here, after, you know, them last few enemies were killed. If you sprint here and reload this autosave, it despawns them all. And they can go back to that reforge room. And you don't have to kill any then. But I'm just showing you how to kill them because um, on contagion mode you'll have to. If you want to go in the um, reforge room. But also, if you want to get this collectible, it's best because then one of the enemies will chase you into this room. So you want to take the first right and this collectible around this corner. This collectible has moved on the original release. It's in the middle of this room, but now you have to take that first right to find it. So after getting that collectible, take the second right and you'll find a crate which you can smash. Loot that, guys, and come this elevator. Looks like it's so this, if you're playing on contagion mode or hardcore, this is going to be your first tricky battle. So see that big egg, you want to shoot it, or you can actually grab something and lob it at it if you want to save the ammo. 
So shoot it or lob something at it to destroy it. Just make sure you do it before you stand up and climb up the ledge. Because when you climb up the ledge, it'll grab you automatically. Just make sure you kill it beforehand. And uh, once you get here, just wait a moment for this guy to burst through. Yeah, in contagion mode, you need to sort of kill all these enemies one at a time. Otherwise, you get in trouble because you can't reload checkpoints. Just kill that enemy first. Come up here. And then you want to kill this egg sack. Again, use one ammo or lob something at it. If you quit, you can kill that first egg sack. Come up here, kill this one. And then kill that first guy up here. If you're quick enough. And then come over here, guys. And the second enemy will spawn here. There's actually some spikes on the back wall to the left. But um, on contagion mode, you won't have much battery. That's why I'm killing them normally. Yeah, spikes there. But contagion mode. The thing is, on contagion hardcore as well. There's that. There's an egg sack over there. You want to kill that one again? Just shoot it once or lob something at it. Yeah, your battery actually depletes quicker on hardcore and contagion. So not only do you enemies do more damage and have more health, your actual battery will go down quicker in grip. So this guy, you just want to grab him quickly and lob him in the fan. Don't try and do what I do and knock him into it. I mean, I was doing this to begin with, but you've got to be really careful because um, he can knock you into it. Or when you're attacking him, you you might go into it by mistake. But because of where he spawns, if you position yourself properly, yeah, loot that chest and grab this collectible, guys. Yeah, do not forget this collectible. Yeah, if positioning yourself properly, he'll be in between you and the fan. You can grab, you can quickly grab him and launch him into the fan. And it shouldn't waste too much battery then. Yeah, health injector here. So over here, there's going to be one acid enemy and two normal enemies roaming down here. And there's a checkpoint in there, so you can actually reload it to get your battery. Uh, obviously, you can't on contagion mode. Now, you can lob him into the spikes. I actually do this a lot different on contagion. But once you kill the first enemy over here, another acid enemy, enemy will spawn behind you. So it should be ready for that. Yeah, when you kill the first enemy, be it the acid enemy or one of the normal enemies, another acid enemy will spawn. So you want to make sure you kill the acid enemy first, so you don't have two acid enemies at the same time. And just make sure you focus on the acid enemies when they when they spawn in, because they can spit acid at you from a range. I think it's the only enemy with a range attack, other than the boss. The um, end boss, I guess. So yeah, kill all them. Yeah, like I said, I do this a lot different. Yeah, grab the gate fuse, and then we'll head into the next room. Yeah, so one hardcore contagion, I actually... You know where that chest was previously, and that last collectible? I actually get the acid enemy's attention, and I kill them one by one down there. Yeah, rather than try, because your battery goes down so quick on other difficulties, um, I just lure them down to me there, kill them one by one using melee. And it's just more, it helps you conserve your ammo a lot better. Yeah, this next battle is going to be like a massive arena type thing. There's going to be, all together, probably about 12 enemies or so. Well, it's a very easy way to kill them. But you just have to be careful. When it comes to your grip, your battery, you know, your glove. It's all about duration. So, um, launching an enemy does not deplete your battery quicker. Launching an enemy doesn't make any difference. It's how long you hold something for. So if you hold something and then launch it, that will not use any more battery. You, you think that throwing something uses more battery. You know, throw in compared to dropping an enemy. No, it, it all uses the same. It's all about duration, how long you hold something for. And different enemy types, different enemy types will if, they, if it's like a heavy enemy, it will deplete your battery quicker. So like a brute enemy or an acid enemy, they'll deplete your battery quicker than what it would if you were holding a normal enemy. 
So like I say, it sort of depends on my like, enemy class, I guess. The stronger the... A good thing to remember, I guess, is the stronger the enemy, the quicker it's going to deplete your battery. Yeah, so once you've upgraded your hand cannon, guys, remember, do not buy the alternate fire. Do not buy that. Yeah, then you can come over here and upgrade damage level 2 on the stun button. Obviously, you can't do that at the moment. And then once you've done all that, obviously, make sure you've sold everything as well. Except for batteries. And then come on this lift. So, on this lift, the door straight ahead. When it opens, there's going to be two acid enemies. Just grab them and let go. Grab them and let go. And that, for some reason, it kills them. But a third enemy will spawn afterwards. It doesn't work on him. But, you don't want to grab him. Because it wastes too much battery. You can actually pull him to you and drop him down below into the sky but it uses up too much battery but um, I don't actually do it here but on contagion mode you see I crouch once you kill the first two acid enemies if you crouch and stay to the right back right of the lift for some reason he doesn't see you and then when the lift opens stand up and he's you can for some reason run be, uh, go behind him and stealth kill him I don't know how but yeah when the third enemy appears, if you stay crouched and stay in the back right of the lift, he won't see you. Like I say, for some reason you can get behind him and it sort of messes up his AI. In this room, loot the two acid enemies, of course, which you just killed. And um, grab the two batteries from the floor. Grab the health injector from the wall. Grab these two gate fuses. Yeah, and two batteries are very important, you're going to need them. And then grab this health injector over here as well. Now the fight won't actually start until you slot in the two gate fuses which you just took away from the door. So just make sure you're ready. Yeah, up here there'll be a collectible. Make sure you get that, don't forget. So slot in the first gate fuse, grab the health injector, and then once you're ready, do not slot in the second gate fuse until you're ready guys and you have everything. That's it, slot it in. Yeah, so I used to drop the enemies onto there, but because your battery is all about duration, I kill them here now just because it's quicker. You just pull them into these middle machine, middle machines. So be very careful you do not walk into it yourself. To begin with, there's going to be two enemies which spawn. They sort of spawn in that part where you first come in. One spawns below, one spawns at the top. So once you kill the first two, then a acid enemy will spawn. There he is. And a brute enemy will spawn as well. It's enormous spawns over here. It depends where you're standing. If you're sort of standing where I'm doing all the time, the enemy should more or less spawn in the same sort of place. So again, just pull them into the grinder, guys. But careful you do not walk too close to the grinder. Especially on contagion mode. This strategy really helps because um, I mean you can use any you can use any of the grinders in this room. But these two particular ones, it, you you have to hold the enemies for less because you just pull them straight into it. No need to turn around. Just pull, dead. Pull, dead. No need to pull, spin around and then drop or whatever. So you're holding them for less. That's why it works well. So now it's going to be um, three enemies. Three, is it three or four? Yeah, so you've got two enemies to begin with. Then the acid and the brute. And you've got three normal enemies. And there'll be three more normal enemies. And then that's it. And that'll be them all. You know what's killed them all, guys, because you'll get an auto save icon. And all the machinery will stop. Now you want to loot all the enemies which you just killed. The enemy which strobes drops the most in the game, by the way, is the acid enemy. Well, I guess you've got a boss. But just the normal enemies, it's the acid enemy which drops the most. They can drop a health injector, normally between 50 and 100 cc. And they also drop the biggest amount of ammo as well. Obviously it's random. I mean that one dropped 66 then. And then we come in here guys, quickly melee that guy to kill him instantly. Come up here and sell everything at the reforge. Please make a selection. Yeah, the way we just done that room, that's exactly how you want to do it on hardcore and contagion mode. If them two batteries which you find in the room, which are always there, there's always two battery on the two batteries on the floor in that room. That should just be enough for hardcore and contagion mode. 
and um, you may have noticed your, your battery does recharge but it takes three minutes yeah so um, you want to upgrade the damage level 2 on the baton if you can uh, sorry not level 2 the first damage upgrade on the stun baton and once you've got a first up damage upgrade on the stun baton ignore what I upgrade you want to actually upgrade the the grip next yeah I actually made a mistake a bit later I I bought the um, upgrade for stun baton which allows you to shoot weak points or, lo or to lock onto weak points but yeah after buying after after getting the damage upgrade on the um, hand cannon and the normal upgrades on that except for the alternate fire getting block break on the stun baton damage level 1 on the stun baton yeah after you got them you then want to start getting the second upgrade on each row of the um, battery of the grip so this enemy I pull him over to me and I kill him on this lift the reason being is because if you walk too far down the steps it triggers another enemy to spawn but this way you just fight one at a time yeah pull him onto the lift and yeah your battery it does recharge over time it takes three minutes to recharge by the way with no upgrades yeah so when you come down here that guy will spawn you can just knock him off or quickly grab and launch and then as you come up here that guy will spawn just lob him out of bounds like so into space and then what's killed all the enemies you can interact with this panel guys yeah your battery will recharge after three minutes by default but with the first upgrade the small on the recharge it will fully recharge in two minutes thirty on the medium recharge upgrade it will recharge in two minutes and on the large recharge upgrade it will recharge in one minute thirty so yeah it starts with three minutes and each upgrade will decrease that time by thirty sorry did I say thirty minutes three minutes but um, each upgrade after that will decrease it by 30 seconds so on contagion mode if you want it to recharge your battery each time you could just leave the game on for three minutes to recharge your battery between encounters if you wanted to and uh, that's that would basically be very similar to just reloading obviously it wouldn't be as nowhere near as quick because you'd have to wait three minutes at a time but if you find them bits difficult and you want to play it safe, between tricky encounters you could wait, recharge your battery, wait, you know, for waiting three minutes, and then progress. Uh, so this bit here, guys, I actually lob him over the pipe, but don't do this; it wastes battery. Just dodge past him and squeeze through this gap because once you squeeze through that gap, he will not follow you through. You're lobbing him over the pipes, kills him out of bounds. But yeah, once you squeeze through that pipe, he will not chase you. So yeah, in future, or even now, do not do it that way I just showed you. Do it this way I'm telling you with my commentary. Just dodge past him and then squeeze between the pipes and then you basically despawned him then. And it, it just saves your battery. So I can say on hardcore and contagion mode, just pick that enemy up and lobbing him can potentially waste a lot of battery. Especially if you drop him or you don't launch him in the right place. So that exact shoot it or lob something at it to kill it before you jump over the pipe because once you jump over that pipe it will try to grab you. And they come along here. Very soon there's going to be about it's about five I think about five or six. There's going to be about six little critters on the floor. If you run around this corner there will be two in this corner here. Quickly grab them. That's it. And then a few will come from this vent in the middle. Well about three. That's two. And one will burst from that exactly when you get close. And like I say, like I said, three will come from that middle vent. That's it. Once you've got all them, you see that exact down there, you want to kill that. Either shoot it or lob something at it. You've got to make sure if you're on contagion mode, you save battery for this next bit. So do not use all your battery. I mean if you do, it just means you're going to have to wait, it doesn't matter, just wait for 3 minutes to pass and your battery will recharge. Yeah because when you come to here you want to pull off this vent cover before you climb down the ladder. You actually can't pull, you can only pull off vent covers with grip, you can't shoot them off. So you, either way, if you don't have battery you're going to have to wait. But yeah, pull that vent cover off before going down the ladder, like I say if you don't have battery you wait for 3 minutes. And then that way when you climb down you can get in the vent straight away and the enemy that spawns you won't have to fight him. 
And then when you come in here, guys, you want to kill this enemy. Do not shoot your weapon, because that's a robot, and you do not want to trigger him yet. So just melee him to death. Do not, like I say, do not shoot him. You do not want to alert that robot, because on, on contagion mode, it'll kill you instantly. Yeah, so just melee this guy, melee this guy to death. Try to keep it in this corner over here, so you don't get too close to the robot, otherwise it might see you. That's it. I, I don't know why, but yeah, for some reason he doesn't attack you. Um, but on contagion mode, he did. But yeah, that enemy is a bit glitchy. Sometimes you just won't attack. So once you killed him, carefully come through here, grab that loot from that crate. Obviously, try to avoid the robot. If it's looking, just wait behind the obstacle. Grab that loot off that crate. And then once you get around this corner, guys, you're going to shoot this guy in the head. You can normally get about two or three shots in, and then you need to hide behind cover, because he will instant kill you. So about two or three shots on his head, and then get behind cover, like so. And then pop back out, and you should be able to finish him off, guys. Easy. Terminated. Grab these two items from the floor. That's it, they are always there, unless you've glitched out. Make sure you loot the robot for a decoder. They sell for 500. Loot the item from that crate. Just some random loot, either ammo or credits. And then over here, this enemy. Now this enemy, you can either melee him to death, like so, or melee and shoot. If you're on hardcore, you want to melee. You can actually drop him over that railing on the left. Yeah, just in there. If you drop him in there, it will instant kill him. But if you're on hardcore, you can't really do that because it'll pretty much use too much of your battery. And you actually need this, your battery for this next bit. Very important, actually, in this next bit. But you can always wait for it to recharge. Or if you don't mind restarting checkpoint to refill your battery, you can do that. But of course, you can't do that in contagion mode. How far are we in, guys? Oh, one hour in. Not too bad. We're about just over, well, just under a third of the way through. There's a trap in there to keep the inmates from sneaking out. What, say what now? There's going to be a trap through here, so you've got to be very careful, especially if you're on contagion mode. We're pretty much right at the end of the chapter now. So this vent, you want to pull off the cover, and then there'll be two crates hiding inside. Loot these, and then when you come to this middle track here, it's going to trigger this trap. Just make sure you're ready to stand to the left or to the right. Just be careful, if you go too far, you're triggering an enemy. When he does trigger, don't let him get too close to attack you, because um, if you dodge an attack, he might dodge into the trap. So what I normally do, if he comes out and he's too far away from the trap, I normally just grab him, to slow him down like so. That's where your battery comes in handy. Yeah, just grab them, slow them down, just for the trap to get there. Again, when somebody else spawns. Yeah, if they get too close and you think they're going to attack you and you're going to dodge into the trap, just grab him once, guys, to slow them down, so the trap will kill them. Yeah, they'll jump in this vent, guys. A enemy normally spawns just as you get close to this vent, but don't worry, the trap will normally kill him. Yep, and then we're pretty much at the end of the chapter. There'll be a few lockers to loot near the end here, and we'll go down a ladder, guys, and that mark the end of this one and the beginning of the next. Is there anything else you haven't told me? Hello, no, just get a move on, yeah? There should be a hatch nearby. And, uh, good luck, Jacob. Yeah, you too. Yeah, so again, if your inventory is full, the first thing we want to get rid of, guys, is batteries and then possibly your health injectors. And descend the ladder. Habitat.
chapter four begins. Yeah, crouch between these pipes. And then crouch beneath these pipes as well. No, you don't have to crouch there. Yeah, rest your little fingers. No need to press circle on that one. Yeah, come down this ladder. Another ladder's climbed down. Oh, where is that and um, you probably have your inventory full, similar to mine. So come straight to the reforge and the sell everything. Yep, so you s did you see that? I didn't upgrade anything. I think I'm waiting to save up for the... UGC printing for all your needs. Yep, actually I did. Yeah, so like I said before, you want to... The next thing you want to upgrade is the small... The small... Um, I say small perk the small upgrade the small upgrade on each of the rows of the grip so the recharge the battery capacity and the um, velocity by the small upgrade for each of them and then what you want to upgrade next is actually ignore what I upgrade next later on I think I upgrade like I say I upgrade the um, the stun button the final upgrade on the sort of third row, which is for targeting weak points. Yeah, I upgrade that by mistake. The problem is, once you buy it, you can't unbuy it, and you're stuck with it for the rest of the game. And if you're new game plus playthroughs, so yeah, I'd very strongly advise against not getting that. I don't know why I bought it here. Yeah, I don't even know why I bought it. I think I just made a mistake and I forgot what I was doing. And by the time I realised, I don't think I realised until we got to the enemies later. And um, you realise just how bad it is. It's, I think it, I think it clashes with auto aim. I think that's what makes it so bad. So if you've got auto aim on, you don't really want that. The good thing about auto aim though is that when you auto target an enemy, a lot of time you'll actually target a limb, and it helps you to um, cut limbs off quicker. So with auto aim, you don't really need that anyway. So yeah, once you get down here guys, loot this chest by moving that sort of big box. And after you loot the chest, you'll move the big box over to that middle thing. And grab that item on there as well. Yeah, loot that. Yeah, once you've got the small upgrades for each of the rows of the grip, you then want to buy the medium upgrades. So recharge, yeah, recharge capacity and velocity by small and then by the medium on each. And then you want to buy the final damage upgrade on the stun button. And then after that you don't really need anything else. Because what I'm trying to do guys is um, get you to upgrade the way we upgrade on hardcore and contagion mode. Hardcore you do not get a lot of credits at all. You actually just get enough to upgrade on things I've just mentioned. So yeah, on Hardcore and Contagion, you want to upgrade everything in almost the exact same order. Yeah, on Hardcore and Contagion mode. So this guy, just get a missed trophy out of the way. All we're going to do, we're going to keep grabbing him and attacking him. Just grab, attack. Don't, don't grab and launch. Just grab, let go, R2. Grab, let go, R2. And you'll keep doing like a grip and attack combo like so. We like up put them. Yeah, you actually need to kill him using only this for that trophy. That's it in striking distance. Just grab him, upcut. If you make a mistake and it don't pop, just reload the checkpoint, guys, and redo it. Yeah, just redo that bit until you get that. Like I say, just grab him, let go, upcut him. Grab, let go, upcut. Just keep doing that until you kill him and get that trophy. And then red check that valve, guys, and come to this vent. And in a second, we're going to come across a collectible. 
which has moved to almost a completely different place to where it was originally. Yeah, so the collectible used to be just on the left there, uh, but now it's all the way up here. So come here, kill this guy, just launch him into the um, into the spikes, climb this ladder, and the collectible is all the way at the top here. Yeah, this one has moved to a completely different place. On my original guide, I never even came up here. So you might not even know that you can. But yeah, come all the way to the top. Loot this cabinet. And they got this collectible all the way over here, guys. There it is. So yep, that collectible used to be... I'll show you where it used to be. But yeah, grab that very important Corruptus. And drop all the way back down. Climb this box. And this collectible, it used to be up here. It used to be up here before, near this chest. And then up here guys you want to loot this chest. And then once you loot the chest guys and you've got a collectible, come in this crawl space. Now once you get in this room guys, grab this gate fuse and then once you get over here, look up because in a second this guy's going to spawn on the ceiling. There it is. So if you're quick you can grab it and quickly drop it out there. Like so, but you've got to be quick. So after you grab the gate fuse, he normally spawns when you go below that pipe. But if you're looking at the ceiling, you can see him when he spawns in and then quickly grab him and drop him out of bounds. And after you slot in that gate fuse, sprint up here and this acid enemy is going to spawn. Then as soon as he spawns, dodge him to begin with and then melee and shoot him. Or just melee him if you want to conserve ammo. That's it, loot him for some goods. And then grab his gate fuse, slot the gate fuse in and loot the two lockers. Also grab his collectible. Yeah, Bruno Mars there. Yeah, grab that collectible, grab his gate fuse like I said. Two lockers. And then slot in his gate fuse over here to open that door ahead. And come through here guys and go down the ladder. There's actually an optional path on the left here. But I don't go down there. There's no need to go down there. But if you want a bit of extra loot. Yeah. Go down that path on the left. But once you're ready to move on. Just follow me down here guys. Into the next room. There's actually a little path just on the left here as well. Yes, on the left. You just take a little path, get out of the water, go left. And there'll just be some like, um, not collectibles, but there'll be some materials at the end. Just if you want some extra like ammo or whatever. Whatever spawns there for you. And then we're going to come through this night, guys. This night, this vent. Yeah, so once in here, drop down and uh, come to the reforge to begin with. And sell everything except for your batteries. No, there's no point selling your batteries because they only sell for 10. Literally no point at all. They only sell for 10 credits. Now you want to make sure you've got a full battery before you turn this valve. So if you're on Contagion or Hardcore mode, well if you're on Contagion you just wait for your battery to recharge. Because these little critters, they will damage you. A little bit annoying, but all you do with these is quickly grab and throw. Grab and throw really quickly. Do not waste ammo on them, it's an absolute waste. You could actually just take a bit of damage. If you needed to. They don't, they don't do much damage to you. But yeah, once you're done after turning that valve, come through here, 
and into this vent. Then he squeezed through here, get his health injector, and climb the ladder at the end. No, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, Opti. Yes, because sometimes I'm looking down at my text guides and sort of move, moving the controller when I'm not looking at the screen. So you climb this ladder and uh, full battery comes in handy here as well. So if you're on Contagion, you could just wait for it to recharge or... You could just reach out, uh, reload checkpoint if you're on hardcore or um, maximum survivor. So that guy will always spawn from that corner vent once you get close. Just drop him out of bounds. This guy you want to drop out of bounds as well, like so. Very easy. And then this acid guy around the corner, you want to kill him normally. The reason I'm killing most of these acid enemies is because, like I say, on contagion, strong enemies can drop a pristine energy converter. So it just really helps to kill these. You can drop him out of bounds if you want to get rid of him quickly. But just nice to get used to it. So there's normally an item on there. A item down here. And also an item on that corner ledge. Then climb this ladder. There is actually a chest in this room. But do not loot the chest. If you loot the chest it will spawn three enemies. Yeah so once you get up here. Before you take the gate fuse. You want to grab that small container. Pull it over to you. You can just get it. And then just drop it down and stomp on it. Yeah, so where that small container was, just below there is a chest. Like I say, do not loot that chest, it will spawn three enemies and one of them will be an acid. After you take gate fuse, there will be auto save, which you can reload to get your battery back if you're on a if you're not on contagion. Yeah, once you come down here, two enemies should spawn. Just drop them both out of bounds on your left. Quickly. Yeah, this way your full battery comes in. Because otherwise you're going to have to do this. And do not want, you do not want to go too far forward because you're going to spawn two more enemies. But if you're quick here, yeah, go right. After, after killing them two, go all the way right to the far right of the map to this door. And a acid enemy will spawn in. A normal enemy spawns as well. But if you come straight up to this guy, and you're not too, you can shoot him... And um, normally, most of the time, the other enemy will not hear you. Uh, but either way, you can, if you quickly kill that acid enemy, you can quickly start this gate fuse. And get away. You see that guy over there? See, I didn't trigger him. But normally, if you kill the acid enemy, then quickly slot a gate fuse. You can actually get through here before he catches up to you anyway. And then once you're in here, guys, come straight past that big door. Just go straight past it and continue on to the end. This room we're going in now, you only have to come through here if you want the collectible. There are some materials in here, but you don't really need them on other playthroughs. Only on your sort of 100% one, we want all the collectibles. So yeah, come through here and um, grab this health injector from this wall box. Come in here and grab the gate fuse. Slot it in there to open the door to the labs. Loot these lockers while the decontamination process is sort of um, triggering. There's five lockers in there to loot. They come in here, loot the loot, loot the loot on the right, loot the loot on the left in the cabinet, loot the collectible on the far right. There you go from the guy. Who's a dead? Yeah, loot that. The <laughs> and then loot that cabinet. Yeah. What happens if a doctor needs a doctor? I guess not much. And then loot this chest for some more goodies, and that's all. All you really wanted was obviously the um, collectible, but uh, we're going to grab everything else while we are in here. So yeah, I'm just going to discard the battery. Just get space for that health injector. 
On other difficulties, you need to keep a health injector, uh, sorry, a battery pack. Yeah, um, this chapter. Yeah, for this chapter, once you get to near here, you're going to try to keep a battery pack on you. I'll mention this in the, um, I'll mention this in the hardcore and contagion mode anyway. Uh, but you see what, I'll mention it when we come, just this bit of the stalkers, you want to try to have a battery pack, because if you can drop the stalkers out of bounds, it just makes it a lot easier to get rid of them, because stalkers are a little bit annoying to deal with at times. Yeah, so when you come back through here, two enemies will spawn. You can just drop them both out of bounds like so. Just wait till they come towards you. And um, as always, I'm trying to do this in a way where I'm holding them for as least a time as possible. The least you hold an enemy, the better. So that's why I stood there, so I didn't have to do any turning around. And in this room, you see this ammo I'm picking up. This ammo was always here. And each of these three stacks of ammo, there will always be six. There's always six stacks of ammo. There's more items in there, but you'll probably find at this point you've got no space in your inventory. So you'll come down here. And you'll sell everything at the reforge. We're going to loot these lockers. Don't go through that shimmy just yet. We want to get all this loot first. So you can loot these two food cabinets. There'll be health gel if you're low in health. Loot this wall box. Come out here, come in the office. In the office, loot the item on the left. Loot this wall box for a health injector and grab the energy converter from here yeah, then if you've still got space you can come up here and get the health injector if you haven't already and the rest of the ammo yeah, you've got this ammo here and this health injector yeah even on high difficulties even on hard contagion the three ammo in this room, the three stacks of six, will always be here, no matter the difficulty. Always. There you go, once you've got it all. Once you've got all the loot, we're just going to head back to Reforge, guys, and sell it all. On Hardcore, by the way, you do not sell any ammo on Hardcore. Because it's so rare on Hardcore mode, I do not sell any at all. I also never really use it until the fights at the end of the game. So again, sell everything. Yeah, so here, do not get this upgrade. Do not get this upgrade. Do not do it. Do not get the targeting module upgrade. Uh, you'll Honestly, you'll regret it. You'll see how bad it is. Do not get this upgrade. Instead, get all the medium upgrades on the grip. Trust me. Get all the medium upgrades on the grip. And then once you've got all them, then you want to buy the final damage upgrade for stun button. Yeah, the damage upgrade. Do not buy the targeting targeting module upgrade. Honestly, it's pants. It's not very good at all. Yeah, here's your first mutated enemy. The thing is, that upgrade does sound good, but in, in action, like I say, with in action, it's not very good at all. The thing is, it's useless on bosses, and once an enemy has mutated, it's useless. Because you'll sort of, you'll target, you'll target their chest, and it just wouldn't do anything. But look at that, I keep targeting his chest, when it'd be better if I target his limbs, or his head. Because if you shoot his limbs or his head, you've got a chance of um, dismembering them. And it just works much better. But yeah, once you killed him, loot him, loot the locker. And then grab his collectible. This collectible is story related. It will always be there. And a little edit there because I have to redo this bit. But you want to open the store. You want to crouch and come over here. This is a little bit tricky to do. But it's a good strategy to do this room. 
you know, in contagion mode in hardcore, it saves ammo and it saves you some melee. So you can actually stealth kill this guy if you're careful. He's sort of he's alerted, he's sort of alerted to you, but not quite. So if you, if you crouch and as he's moving to him look for you, you can actually stealth kill him like so. It's a little bit tricky. And then you can stealth kill this guy. Yeah, so them two you can stealth kill them. If you want to practice that, you can just keep reloading checkpoint guys. Do it in a similar way to me. But that first guy, as he jumps over the um the machinery, you can actually just stealth kill him if you're quick. And these three stalkers, so after that cutscene, the first one will sort of spawn where he did for me. The second one will spawn from there, quickly grab him and drop him out of bounds, and then the third one will spawn over there. I say if he's if he's standing where I am, that should be whereabouts they spawn. And that's how to kill him guys quickly. So that's where on hardcore and um contagion mode it helps have a spare battery pack here. Because grabbing two, it can sort of use a battery it can use your battery really quick just from grabbing two stalkers. So that's where the battery pack comes in handy. It doesn't really matter too much on normal, you know, maximum survivor. Because you can normally kill them both before your battery depletes. But your hardcore contagion mode. Normally two stalkers will deplete your battery from full. So you've got to be really careful. And then come up here guys and you've got the pipe slide coming up. This pipe slide is very annoying on contagion mode. Because you can easily get instant killed here. But one good thing about this pipe slide is it doesn't save instantly like a normal death does. Yeah, pipe slide, there's a bit of a delay during the cutscene. You know, your death animation. It, I don't know why, but it it gives you a chance to reload here on uh, contagion mode. Yeah, so once you get down the ladder, turn around and grab a salute at the end. And then head down here, guys, and do the pipe slide. I think this pipe slide, I think the first time you come through here without reloading checkpoints, yes, yeah, so you want to go right, then left, and then stay left to begin with. And then there'll be a jump. And then again, it'll be right, and then hold left. Yeah, I think when you get to the fans, I think it's always the same as long as you don't reload checkpoints. Yep, and then you'll do a jump, and then be that grinder which you'll always miss after the grinder you want to go in the middle and you want to hold right because another pillar will come up but it's really fast yet yeah, there it is just hold right and there'll be another few jumps and then you get to the fans yeah so always go left here that's it left and then left and then right and then right so yeah pretty much yeah, careful, I got hit there. And then dodge these ones. You can see how I'm dodging them. Yeah, so with them fans, you go left, left, and then right, right. And then dodge these pillars, and you're at the end, guys. Yeah, them fans, as long as you haven't reloaded the checkpoint, guys, they should always be the same. So even on contagion mode, they should always be on the, in the same sort of um, position as they were for me. So obviously in contagion mode, you can't reload checkpoint anyway. So they'll always be the same. Left, left, right, right. And the fans. And then you've got a few more pillars to dodge. And then you're at the end. The pillars, if you hit them, if you hit them like dead on centre, they will kill you. But if you sort of hit them just on the side, they just damage you a little bit, as you saw with me. They just do a little bit of damage if you hit them on the side. But yeah, if you hit a pillars dead centre, yeah, they do sort of instant kill you. And then once it goes dark, you know you're at the end of it. And 
And there we go, we get our story trophy. So once you get up here, turn around and we'll get us loot at the back first. Yeah, you, you might find health gel if you're low in health. And a energy converter, it's always there. Up here, loot the wall box and the locker. And then go the door on the left, guys. Now this enemy, so before enemies in this room, but it's sort of they sort of spawn as you go further. So the key is to not go too far. You want to spawn them one at a time. So trigger one and then move back and kill him near the entrance. And then once you killed him, trigger the next one and then move back. Yeah, so like I say, do not go too far forward, otherwise you're going to spawn too many at once. Just spawn them one at a time and then move back. Yeah, and on maximum security, because it's normal mode. Yeah, I know that's confusing. Yeah, the game calls it sort of normal mode. We've got three difficulties. Yeah, you can afford to use ammo on this difficulty. But on hardcore and contagion, you just melee all these to death. And it does take a long time because they'll mutate. And they get much stronger. But conserving ammo on hardcore and contagion is just much better. Because all you're doing really, you're just wasting a bit of time. But... There's no bonus for completing the game quick. Um, so it just saves on hard contagion to save your ammo here. You like so. This difficulty we can afford to use it. So you just melee, shoot when it snaps onto them, then melee again. This is where this targeting module upgrade. Yeah, it doesn't really help. So you see, um, it's supposed to be shooting their tentacles and killing them instantly. But a lot of times with instant ammo, uh, sorry, instant ammo, auto aim, <laughs> with auto aim on, it sort of misses them. And um, you'd just be better auto aiming onto the limbs. There you go, once you've killed them all, so that door, I'm ignoring it. But that door, if you go in that door just there at the top of steps, it will take you to some optional loot. For purposes of platinum, there's no need to go through there. We can if you just want a bit more loot. Isn't that something? Now it's going to be a robot coming up. So you do normally need you do normally need to make sure you conserve some ammo for this bit. So if you're low on ammo, you probably do want to go in that room at the top of steps just to find some ammo. Or reload a checkpoint further back. Yes, you're going to need about six ammo for this robot on this difficulty and make sure you kill it because you get a decoder you can sort of sneak past it sneak through this area you know to avoid it but it's a nice easy 500 credits so you make sure you can get behind here that's it you want to make sure where you're standing you can actually move left first because if you're standing too far forward Sometimes you can't actually move left enough to hide. So a good thing to do there is just make sure you're standing in a in a place where you can move left far enough to get behind the pillar before you actually engage the robot. Yeah, that tree I just showed you, there'll be enemy hiding behind there later, which you will want to grab. Just something to bear in mind. And once you come in here, yep, grab that item and then come over to Reforge guys and sell everything. And again, if you can, you want to buy, you want you want to buy you want to be buying the medium upgrades on the batteries, and then damage level two on the stun button, and then after that, you're pretty much up to you guys. But I don't really upgrade anything else because um, I guess other other than that t stupid targeting module upgrade, which I brought by mistake. Yeah, because on contagion and hardcore, you're not really going to buy be upgrading much else. So you're going to come over here guys, you want to grab this chest. And you want to squeeze through this gap. Now shortly after squeezing through this gap, there's going to be a critter. That will burst from the egg sack, so be ready to grab it and launch it. Yep, and then on the right here will be a material. The skunk gun somatic and a collectible. Make sure you get that collectible guys. 
and that skunk gun somatic will only be there if you didn't collect it earlier, which we didn't if you're following me. Yeah, so once you come back in here, there'll be one anyway. So quickly grab him and launch him into them spikes. And once you get to the end, another enemy will spawn. There should be spikes next to him as well to get rid of him quickly. Up here, just sell some items at the reforge. Yeah, and um, upload that skunk gun somatic. Come down here. Now, when you come down here, there's going to be three enemies spawned, but it's sort of going to be spawning into that smoke. You can grab that health eject off the crate quickly. Yeah, I messed that up because I, for some reason, jumped over the vault, uh, the crate, instead of grabbing the health ejector. Yeah, then grab, the, grab these three enemies and lob them into the spikes. So there'll be two normal enemies and one acid. So you want to make sure you keep moving left and right. So if the enemy just spit acid at you from in the fog, which you won't see coming until it's too late, it should miss you. So yeah, keep moving left and right while you're waiting for the enemies to grab them. That's it. Once you killed three enemies, loot them and then come in this room. Yeah, so in here, normally by this point in contagion mode you'll have no battery left. But this guy, if you just attack him with melee, eventually you'll upcut him on some spikes, like so. A nice easy kill. Come to this wall box and loot it. Attack this enemy in case he drops anything. That's it in the coming this next bit. So this next bit, one stalker will appear. But if you be quick, he won't attack you. And this pretty much always works. I use this on every difficulty I do this on. Sprint through here. Keep to the right and then go right. Loot these two lockers. Quickly loot the two lockers. That's it, then turn around, come to the right, up here. That's it, where it came from. Jump on the box and climb in that vent. There it is. And uh, you can easily avoid that stalker, guys. No need to engage him. Song sure quick and sort of keep to the right all the time. You can even loot the two lockers and still get up here without engaging that. And then drop down here, guys, and get a collectible. Got the lockdown code. UJC printing at your service. And then once you're ready, guys, interrupt this terminal to um, progress the story. Right, when you come outside here, try to follow my path as closely as you can. Yeah, so we're going to grab this guy in this tree. You won't be able to see him unless you turn on the high contrast. But yeah, in that tree, yeah, grab it and drop it just to the right of you. Don't drop it in front because otherwise this enemy will spawn here and come and attack you. Normally, if you grab him, drop him to the right. That enemy will not normally spawn. But if he does spawn, just quickly grab that one and let it go. Come through here guys and this guy here, drop him and let him go and for some reason it kills him instantly. And then come up here and that's it. You get through there without too much trouble then. Yep, so just do that in exactly the same way guys. And it should work out pretty much the same way. You can actually try it a few times if you just want to make sure you get that method down. Because it's useful for hardcore and contagion mode. And then come down here, grab these two lockers. Come over here to trigger the three enemies. Yeah, once they trigger, turn around and come back here. Now wait for him to get close. Now in my original guide for this, I used to lob him on top of these lockers on... You know them lockers we just looted? I used to lob him onto the top there. But it's a little bit tricky. There's a little out of bounds spot, but it's a little bit tricky getting him to land in the right place. But this bit's a bit easier. So wait for him to come to you and then back up the steps and then just grab him and drop him onto the right. That's it, drop him down there. Now, instant kill them all, guys. You won't be able to loot them, but I will instant kill them really easily. That's it. And then come all the way to the end here, guys, and get the collectible. If you got the steps too early, sometimes it sort of de some of the enemies, and they'll come and just wait here. If that happens, you can actually, you can sometimes sneak kill them from behind. I don't know why it happens. But yeah, but once you're ready, guys, come up there and grab the collectible. 
And then we'll make our way back and we'll make our way to the end of the chapter. Yeah, come down this ladder and then you want to turn around, go to the end and take a right and loot the small container. Yeah, so we have to go quiet for 10 or so seconds at a time, guys. Sometimes I'm just replying to comments on um, some of my YouTube videos catching up. Yeah, so this room, you don't have to actually kill any of these. You can kill them if you want for loot or if you've got battery. You know, pulling them into the grinder to kill them easily. Uh, just be careful you don't get knocked into grinder or work into one by mistake. But if you're on contagion mode or hardcore, it's just simpler to dodge past them, get to a crawl space in the far corner, crouch beneath it, and then you pretty much clear of the enemies because you're at the end then. So um, yeah, you can kill them for a bit of loot if you want, but it's just simpler, especially on contagion mode where your battery will deplete really quickly and you can't recharge it. Uh, by reloading safe yeah just get past them dodge and pass them get to the far corner crouch come over here guys and um once your prompt appears press x to jump across and then hold up to climb to the top and you finish the chapter at the end of this chapter you'll get all your health refilled and you also get your inventory doubled so you've got six inventory space at the moment after this chapter you'll have 12. you actually get a little bit more health. That's where your health refills. So yeah, good to know. You know, so if you're low on HP at this point, you don't have to bother about refilling your health because it's going to get refilled automatically. Here we go, chapter 5. Suit online, health and inventory improved. You'll see one enemy very, very soon in the snow. Without any sort of protective gear on. He's going to grab him and lob him to his death. Just over the cliff straight ahead. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, once you get her attention, yeah, just lob a snowball at her or something. Stick some yellow snow in her mouth and lob her over the edge. That's it. You can loot her. Most of the time, she's like, you can't even find her. She's like, completely gone off the mountain. But sometimes you'll find a corpse and you can loot it. Let's make our way to um, Elias now, guys. Elias. 
not really much else you could do at this point. Yay, after being reunited, very briefly, we're going to go and find shelter in the outpost now. Yeah, go into the outpost and you want to go into two far rooms first. You'll find a collectible in the room on the left and one piece of loot. And the room on the right will have an energy converter inside. You have some reason there's gates, but the, to not the gate, the switch is on the outside. So, I, I don't know why. The gate is there to stop people from getting in, but you can get in because the switch is on the outside. It's weird. Or maybe, I guess, stop prisoners from escaping. I don't know. But once you've got all them, you come into this building. And if you go in the room on the right, there'll be Reforge. And you can sell everything which you have at the moment. And they're coming here guys, and there should be a small container just on the right there. After coming down the steps. And then loot that wall box. Come around here, and there's normally some item on that sink. Now this guy will wake up when you get close, so be quick, you can lob him into them spikes. I got a bit too close then, if you stay far back you can normally grab him and just launch him. This guy as well, grab him quickly and launch him onto the spikes. When you come over here, normally two enemies will spawn. Yeah, so I'm sort of meddling these guys, but what you would do, because at this point you've probably not got much battery left, you'd recharge, you'd wait for your battery to recharge and then launch these both off the cliff on contagion mode. Obviously, contagion mode, you'd have to do this. Either melee them like this way, or just wait for your battery to recharge and launch them off the cliff. But see this guy? He's a security officer. The security officer type enemies, they look like normal enemies, but with the security officer skin, they can actually, they can drop pristine energy converters on um, Contagion. That's what just showing you a way how to kill them normally. But yeah, to get rid of them easily and quick, you just launch them off a cliff. And then come up here guys and make your way across the bridge. Yeah, once you get to the end here, you're going to be in that sort of big arena in the snow. And there's going to be three stalkers up here. And um, this sort of arena, you can't actually see them, but it's a few spots around the arena where enemies will spawn if you get too close. So it's very important you try to walk where I walk, otherwise you're going to spawn enemies. And the problem is, if you spawn one enemy, and you try killing him with melee, you could potentially dodge close to another enemy and spawn another and get into like a a sort of trigger where you keep triggering enemies by mistake. Uh, when you come here, a enemy is gonna spawn on the top there, a stalker. Now if you quickly grab him before he jumps down and let go, you'll kill him instantly. So yeah, as you approach that switch, Look at the top of that shack next to it. Quickly grab the stalk which appears. Just quickly grab and let go and you'll kill him. And in here, this arena I was talking about, if you walk too close, you're going to spawn another enemy. If that explosive cannon to that first one, I normally give it a little kick just to move it. Otherwise, it's a bit glitchy trying to pick it up. 
and you want to sort of stand near this sort of massive mine cart of coal or whatever it is, rocks. Stand in this corner, you see that entrance on the left corner of the screen now where we came through. Keep that in view until you see that enemy appear and then pick up that canister, lob it at him and then turn around and back up a little bit and lob it at this enemy and try to grab another one quickly and then lob it at them too as they spawn there. And it may not work exactly the same. If it doesn't, you may just have to improvise a little bit. That bit's a bit tricky, but you have to try and do that exactly the same way as me. Have your camera facing exactly the same way as me with exactly the same objects in view. And also move back to the same spots as me as well. And then when you come over here, once you kill them three stalkers, well it's not three stalkers, it's four, you get two spawn and then another two. This guy will always spawn from here. You always have to come in here, you can normally lob a canister at that first enemy, which spawns from that small cabin. Grab the items inside, the health injector and the collectible, you have to grab the collectible, it's story related. And then when you come over here, take the same path, otherwise you'll trigger more enemies. And this guy... He can re you'll rarely kill him with one canister. If you let if you let him get close, sometimes it can happen. But most of the time the canister won't kill him first time. Sometimes you wanna just grab three canisters quickly and kill him. Yeah, you can normally lob one when he comes out, grab another quickly while he's stunned, and then grab another one while he's stunned. And if you're quick, but it's a little bit tricky, but if you just try and do that a bit the same way as me. It normally works out that way for a little bit of sort of improvising. It's just it can just get messy. Yeah, sometimes the stalkers might spawn a little bit differently, especially the last two stalkers out of them four. But yeah, you come through here, guys. Once you've done it, this first room on the left after crawl space, you'll find a collectible and then some loot in this locker. That bit in the snow with the four, st four stalkers, you wanna practice that now on maximum security, just because on contagion mode, you can't practice it. So if you need to practice that bit, do it now on maximum security, or it, I guess you could on hardcore mode as well. But I'll, I'll probably mention it on hardcore. Practice this bit and you can learn this method because on contagion mode, you're not gonna be able to reload and you get it right first time. And then on here, just for the shimmy at the end, you can go to that small room on the left for some more loot. And then come through a shimmy, guys. So after that shimmy, there's going to be a bomber enemy. Yeah, I call these guys the bombers because they'll explode like a bomb. So that first one, yeah, you can either, if you've got battery, you can grab it and lob it, which is a lot easier, or you can wait, use one bullet to kill it. This guy, just come down here and um, you can just attack him and launch him onto the spikes like so, get a nice quick kill without wasting anything. Once you've killed him, grab him for any loot and then grab that um, small container. I will shoot it or pull it down. I shot it just because I'm waiting for my battery to recharge. And up here, go left for this item. If you're on contagion mode anyway, you can just wait, like say three minutes or so for your battery to recharge. And then once you get through here, a bomber will appear on the left. Again, you're better off throwing him and they come down here and loot this locker. Now when you go left a bit more, it's gonna spawn another bomber through this little passage. Yep, and then a critter will appear just after. There he is. Then come through here, turn left, there'll be another critter at the bottom of the steps. Be ready to grab him and throw him. And then up here, there'll be a bomber enemy and two or three critters. Just quickly throw them to kill them. Yeah, grab any loot and then go through his next shimmy.
get this guy if you're quiet make sure you crouch you can sneak kill him yeah nice and easy and quiet sneak kill yeah come up steps and there'll be two bombers and about three or four critters just grab the bomber and then grab a second bomber and there you go and then carry on straight ahead grab the loot it dropped and there'll be some loot on one of these barrels yeah toxic waste yeah then come back to crossroads go right and come up here now if you be quiet yeah just walk and there'll be an enemy here on the right wait till he gets in between you and the spikes and then quickly grab and launch like so and then the guy will spawn on the left after killing him launch him into them spikes yeah he gets he gets all glitched up on this container this chest sometimes he'll walk over it so be careful but the idea is to get him in between you and them spikes you can just quickly grab and launch yeah obviously I messed that up completely somehow I let him attack me yeah then once you killed them both loot this chest loot them two which you just killed and then take the final path there'll be one enemy to kill and then there'll be a wolf box you can loot for a health injector and you can climb the ladder Yeah, this punk here. Yeah, make sure he's dead. Yeah, then climb the ladder after um, looting the wall box. Up here, there'll be a small container you can loot. That's it. Now this next room is going to be a sort of encounter in a big, in a big sort of arena. You want to make sure your battery is recharged. If you're on contagion mode, then make sure you got full battery. On hardcore and um, maximum security, which you're on now, you can just reload checkpoint if you want. Yeah, because after you open this door, there'll be a checkpoint. You could just reload it if you want to get your battery back. Yeah, it just really helps having a full battery here. Yeah, so this first guy will always be spawned. I like to sort of come here. Because they run in front of you and you can just launch them back quickly. You know, holding them for minimum time into the spikes. Over here will be a wall box. This is the only loot in this room. Yeah, that wall box. Yeah, it's normally that guy will be spawned in the middle. And shortly after you come in, this acid enemy spawns as well. Yeah, in total here, I think we kill... I think it's five enemies to kill in total. Yeah, so I'm sort of trying to wait for them to come in between me and Spikes. So I'm just launch them back quickly. Just be careful. If you stand around here... Yeah, they'll normally spawn from these two vents near your feet. But that guy, for some reason, he always spawns from that far vent. If you're standing around here. Yeah, third enemy always seems to spawn from that far vent. So again, just gonna wait for him to come in between me and the spikes and then just lob him back quickly. Now two more enemies will spawn, it'll be an acid enemy and a normal enemy. Yeah, he's probably gonna spawn from these vents near my feet, if I'm standing close to them. There we go, a normal enemy. If you've got no battery, you can always just attack these near the spikes so they launch onto them and die. Now, last one should be acid enemy, guys. There you go. You'll know once you kill them all because they'll be auto safe. Like I say, all together should be five enemies. So just go and loot them all. Make sure you loot that wall box if you haven't already. 
I'm going to get the riot gun now as well. There's only two weapons you find in the game. Obviously, we've got the hand cannon already, which is sort of story related. And once you open this, you'll get the new one. Yep, so um, there we go. The right gun, guys. So if you've got any money for upgrades, you probably want to upgrade the right gun, actually. Yeah, if you've got any spare money knocking about. Yeah, if you've up already upgraded, there's an item there, by the way, in that terminal. You want to get this collectible, which is all related. Yeah, if you've got all them upgrades I mentioned already. Uh, stun button damage level 2. Uh, stun button block break. Yeah, and interact this terminal. Um, all the upgrades on the hand cannon except for the alternate fire. Uh, all the medium upgrades on the grip. Yeah, if you've got all them, you can get all the upgrades on the shotgun then. Yeah, then loot the glass cabinet. But you want all the upgrades on the shotgun except for the alternate fire again. Yeah, come this door once you've done all that, guys. Loot this locker. And then go to reforge and sell everything. Yep, all the upgrades, all the alternate fire upgrades are not good at all, guys. So any alternate fire upgrades on any weapon, don't buy it. Unless you just got excess money and you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I guess you can then. Uh, but you, you also do not want it. If you craft any other weapons, you're going to start getting ammo for them as well. That's why I don't craft anything else. I just stick to the two-story weapons, the right gun and the hand cannon. So you're always going to get ammo for them from now on. Thing is, once you bought some guys, you can't unbuy it. That's a problem. And um, you do not want to be getting too much ammo for other weapons you're not really going to use. All the weapons in this game, they're not very good. I mean, they're so, they so a lot of them look good. And they sound good when you read some of the descriptions and some of the upgrades. But they're just not very good at all, guys. That's why I just think of the normal ones. Yeah, so once you get outside here, you're going to get this uh, small container on the right. Yeah, and then come in this door. There'll be an airlock. There's going to be another sort of arena battle soon. Which you want to make sure your battery is recharged for. Fully recharged. So, it's not yet, but I'll let you know when. Um... But if you've got the medium upgrade, you see that cage which I just looked at, aimed at. You can actually drop this enemy on the middle of that cage and it'll kill him. But it, it does waste a lot of battery so I don't bother doing it. I just kill him normally. But this guy for some reason he always spits acid to begin with. So as soon as the lift doors open you just want to start to melee him. That's it and get into the sort of combo, melee, melee. Well finish your combo, shoot, finish your combo, shoot and just repeat that. That works well as it stun locks him. But sometimes you're unlucky. Well, this isn't even because I'm unlucky. It's because I've got a stupid targeting upgrade. Yeah, that's it. Once you killed it, use the lift. Yeah, duck beneath there, guys. Come around here and grab that item on that small console. And come all the way up here around the corner. And you're going to jump up the box on the end over the railing. And you're going to grab the green fuse. The green battery. Yeah, grab it. Head back over to that door. And you're going to slot in the, the um, gate fuse. I have no idea how it got over there. Yeah, slot it in and I'll open it. Loot the locker. Loot that desk. And then interact with the terminal guys to um, open the security gates. Ignore the guy in the middle. He's not going to come out. I know. You were anticipating it, weren't you? Until you heard me spoil it for you. Yeah, well, when I came here for the very first time, I was anticipating him to burst out. Probably like the worst moments, like they always do. Yeah, loot the small container at the end here. Yeah, it always burst out at the last moment. And then I thought it's going to burst out when I unlock this door, but it didn't. 
Yes, let's frame. Jump up here and loot that item on that uh, computer. Yeah, loot this pristine energy converter. And this collectible on this guy, do not take it until your battery is recharged. This is story related. Do not take that collectible out of him until your battery is recharged. Because you need a full battery for this bit. So either reload checkpoint if you're on contagion mode. Wait. So what I do, come to this corner first, pull that guy into there, then turn left and pull that guy into there. Carefully do not get too close to this. Stand about here. And once that enemy, that stalker, runs behind that, just pull it towards it to kill it. Pull that guy into that to kill him instantly. And there'll be one more enemy left. And pull him into this grinder. Wait for him to get close. You hold him for the least amount of time so it uses less battery. Yep, now he's going to loot them all. Yeah, that's how to do that a bit easily, guys. But be very careful you do not get too close to that machinery. Because it can kill you. Yeah, loot the stalker. Loot his first two enemies. Yeah, and there we go. And then come up to this room at the top once you looted them. And we'll first grab a sloot on the left. On this counter. Whatever that may be. And then in this corner over here there'll be a hidden vent with a small container inside. Pull it out. Careful you don't drop on your feet. And stomping it, guys. Use a code to open the gate. And then we're going to use to reforge. And we're going to reforge some... Things. Perhaps. Depends how much money you have. You can reforge a reforged item. That's it. Just sell everything. And I guess that's me done. I'm sure, hopefully, I've mentioned it enough times by now. Exactly what it should be buying and upgrading. Yep, so, uh... Don't know what I was doing then, but whatever. Yeah, let's carry on all the way down these steps. And this airlock at the far end. Yeah, j just ignore that guy. Yeah, don't listen to anything he says. I can see right through him. Yep, and in the airlock there'll be his chest. You'll find a decoder inside, amongst other items. So out here, take the exact same path as I do. If I run left around an enemy, you do the same. If I run right around an enemy, you do the same. And make sure it's the same frozen enemies. If you want to cheat this bit, turn on high contrast in the settings. And you'll find out exactly what enemies are active. Not active, but a uh, line dormant. And they normally they normally trigger if you get within about two steps. Jacob, yeah, within about two steps. So, um, but taking that path I take, that's the way to avoid it. But yeah, if you want to cheat, guys, turn on the high contrast. I don't know why they had high contrast in this game. It's it's really out of place. I mean, a survival horror game. With high Just contrast stop. settings. Really, really, really weird. Really, really, really weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Along with my commentary. I think it feels to me like it's something Sony wanted them to put in. So they did. Because Sony, did Sony finance this game a little bit? I think they did, didn't they? I think Sony helped finance it a bit. I'm betting they, it's their idea, they wanted high contrast putting in, so um, they had to include it. Because it's exactly the same as Uncharted, isn't it, and uh, Naughty Dog. You know, first party Sony games. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uncharted and Last of Us, not Naughty Dog. Yeah, so in here, you get a trophy. You can grab that um, item on the desk on the right. The item in the room on the left, and then the second room on the left, there'll be our collectible guys. Make sure you pick it up. Max is concerned. Pick up that collectible. And then the counter on the far left on the chair, pick that item up. And come down these steps, drop down here, and grab the item off the crates. Carry on in here to find Danny. Try and get into your suitcase. 
full of your underwear. Yeah, don't let us see that. Scott Jacobs, what he likes to dress up as on a Saturday night. This way. Yeah, he likes to dress, dress up as a drag queen. UJC bio Trace it from your right, Danny, lead the way. I thought so. Yeah, once you get into this big hangar, straight after Danny. Just up ahead. Get ready. We're going to go left and get a collectible. Yeah, gets collectible in the far left corner. This collectible has moved. It wasn't always here. It wasn't. Oh, yeah. It used to be on the right in um, near the truck. Yeah, and that decoder on the left as well. So get a collectible. Scott's, Scott's log. And also get the decoder a bit further on the left. Come over here to this snow cat. And get the, grab the crate from his side. There you go. Small container. And loot it. Follow Danny up the steps. And in this room, guys. Once the airlock opens, you can go through. Until then, you shall not pass. Back there. Why did you do that to Elias? I was in a hurry. Didn't have time to transfer the data. I need to know everything I can about what's happening here. But you just ripped it out. Like you haven't done the same. Not to somebody I know. And now you can pass. And once you're near, guys, loot this chest. Yeah, just in case you forget, this is probably like a general rule, no matter where in the world you go. Red means stop, and green means go. In this room, guys, on the far sort of um, not far, but the nearest right corner, there'll be a vent. Pull the cover off and get these two crates on the side, two small containers, and there'll be a collectible over here, sort of on the middle on the right. Uh, but come at these steps first, and there'll be a pristine energy converter. And do not forget this collectible, guys. I almost forgot it, almost, but not quite. Yeah, there we go. Pick up that collectible. I thought it said sky pants for a second. It's called shipments. Yeah, do not forget to pick up that collectible. Very, very important. And that's that's collectible for chapter. So that's how your collectible should be looking at this point. Don't really worry about persons of interest. You just want to be looking at. If you just fill out each collectible in each chapter, then naturally you'll automatically fill out the persons of interest and then. Um, yeah. Come up here guys, after uh, Danny opens the lift for you, and then press the button to go up, yeah. we are and right. stay on it, to go up with the lift. I know. You don't seem too surprised. About what? About any of this, whatever the hell's going on around here. Saw something like it before, back on Europa. Europa? The news report said that was all on you. UJC propaganda. Things aren't always what they seem. Kind of like me. And that cargo you thought it was hauling. Maybe. I'd sure like to think so. And up here, guys, go forward to be a little cutscene. You'll get a trophy in the pipe, 5x5. Five five. In the bed. So, in this sequence. You can just stay still through the first gap if you want, or move a little bit to the left if you think it's cutting it close. Um, but then you want to move to the right like I just did, and then to the left. You can't move up and down by the way, it's only left or right. And then to the right, and then to the left, and then a little bit to the right I guess. Yeah, couldn't make it any easier. Left, right, left, right, pretty simple.
So and there we go, guys. So what I hate about this chapter, it, it literally takes about five minutes to get into it properly. Because you've got a massive climb down the shaft and there's nothing of importance to get along the way. Except for these few items to begin with. And then after that, it definitely is not nothing to collect. So Danny's going to go straight on, but he's going to go right. And hopefully she don't see ya. You're going to come over here, grab his two shinies. You can see him shining in the darkness. Whatever they may be. Yeah, pick them up. And then turn around, company steps. And this should be a... I forget what it is now. I think it's pristine. Oh yeah, if you need to. Discard a battery. Yeah, it's a energy converter. That's it. And now just continue following Danny, guys. Make your way down the shaft. route a few levels down. Might be a faster way to reach the colony. I hope this plan of yours doesn't get us both killed. It's getting worse. We should hurry. Yeah, this shaft takes ages to get down. And every single time you're going to come down here. Not to, um ruin your enjoyment or anything but you're gonna have to do this bit about four more times yet Don't worry, she's okay. Thank goodness. Just be careful. It's worse than I thought in here. Is this thing gonna hold? Just try not to think about it. I'm definitely trying not to think about it, definitely. That's why I went quiet for a moment, Let's try not to think about this. Yeah, but I'm definitely trying not to think about it. I mean, I do f five more playthroughs for 100%, but I've only got videos for three. Because the new, because the new, two new game pluses that we do, it's just not really necessary to do another video guide for them when it's basically the hardcore new game plus is exactly the same as the hardcore new game. So there's no, just no point to show me running through a game again, another four hours. Literally the same route. It's same with the normal new game plus to get them more credits to buy all the upgrades. I mean, yeah, we don't get as much. I mean, I don't get all the collectibles, so I get a little bit less loot. But more or less, it's exactly the same, pretty much. So there's just no need to show it all again. I'll be showing when the Arm to the Teeth trophy pops for me. I'll be showing just a video of that, some footage of that popping. Um, I'll probably do that at the start of the hardcore. In fact, I might just lob it in at the end of this video after platinum. Oh, there is one, there was one trophy actually, a misc trophy, which is very simple to get. You could get it in 10 seconds from now, if I was going to tell you, but you're going to have to wait a bit longer. Because the cutscene just happened, there's going to be an enemy, and I need to warn you. So as soon as you get control back, this enemy will be active. Turn to the left and lob him into them spikes. Don't lob him in the spikes straight ahead, because, I mean, I've not really tested since the updates, but before the updates, if you lobbed him in the spikes near where he spawns, it triggers the enemies on the left and right uh, beside him, but if you grab him, spin around, lob him the spikes on the left, it doesn't trigger them. They just kill him and come this way. But when you come in here guys, these guys 
Um, they're obviously not aggro to you at the moment. There's a collectible there, by the way, on that desk. Make sure you pick up that collectible, which I just picked up on that desk. Yeah, you want to walk down here, because these guys, you will wake them up. And make sure you stay in the middle. If you get too close to them, that will trigger them as well. Then ones which like dormant, stuck in the wall. Yeah, just walk in the middle and loot a small container. Yeah, these these blind us. If you sprint and you're too close, they will instantly be aggro to you. If you walk in and they hear, they'll just sort of go to where they heard the noise. Uh, but if you crouch and you don't make any noise at all. So you always want to try and crouch when you're around these. Unless I say otherwise. And you're going to crouch, well, sort of crouch all the way over here. Probably not a good idea to stand up too early like I just did then. Uh, but once you jump over that pipe, crouch over to here slowly until this enemy triggers. But once he triggers, don't move forward anymore. And he should not aggro to you. And you can get an easy stealth kill from behind him then. Nice and easy. Come in here, loot his two lockers. Yeah, if you've got space, you can grab that somatic. To be honest, you can actually grab that somatic later, so just leave it like I just did. Yeah, we're not going to be using it for anything, it just allows us to actually craft another weapon, but we don't want any of the weapons. And that small container, I normally lob it down there near the reef forge. So if it's something which I don't have space for, like a health injector, if you smash it near the reef forge, you can just pick it up straight after, after you sold everything. Rather than smashing at the top layer and not having space and then leaving the loot at the top. As soon as you drop down this ladder, crouch at the bottom so you don't trigger that guy sleeping at the bottom of the um, ladder guard type guy. Pick up this small container when you come around here. Stay crouched for a moment but around here you should be able to walk now. Love a small container of that exact to kill it. And um, there's a small container there as well. And then come over to reforge guys. All systems That's it, sell all your loot. If you've got any batteries, by the way, you want to keep start keeping them now. Yeah, you're going to need three batteries at the end of this chapter. Yeah, grab any more loot which was in the area which you didn't have space for before. Any, only any which is close by. And then you're good to go. So once you get over here, grab something you can throw. And throw it at that guy there stuck in the wall. That's it, lob it at his head. Try to get stuck in his teeth if you can. That's it. It should trigger him and the enemy, the other enemy. It might kill him, the one you threw it at, if you're lucky. But if you didn't, don't worry. Just wait for him to um, run away through the shimmy wall on the left if you didn't kill him. And then once he's gone or he's dead, come down to this guy once he's uh, gone back to his default area and he's looking away. Crouch, come down here and kill him from behind. Don't shoot that guy stuck in the wall. Because if you do, it's going to trigger that guy... At start off the ladder earlier, and you did not want to trigger him. So it's lob the hat at him, it's a bit quieter, or whatever you find. And they kill the second guy and come through this crawl space. Yeah, when you come up here, grab this um, pristine energy converter. And over here, you want to lob something at that egg sack before you get too close. But once you kill that, it will trigger four enemies to spawn, four blinders. So carefully, just crouch over to this corner and then wait for him to clear the steps. But one more will come yet down the steps, so just wait for him. Here she comes. And then once they're clear, go up the steps, guys. Once up the steps, keep crouched because you don't want to trigger these guys. Yeah, go left and loot a small container. And then also grab that collectible, field log number two, from Dr. Shihan Yuan. 
yeah, grab that collectible and the small container and then come up here, guys. Once up here, you can make as much noise as if you want. Hop over here and then around the left is going to be an egg sack. Be ready to shoot it. That's it. Kill it like so. Grab this health injector on the right there on the floor. Come up here. Grab anything it dropped. Come through this crawl space. Grab that small container. If you can't see the loot after breaking it, probably because it dropped down here like so. Turn around when you come down. Get ready to lob that acid guy into the spikes. That's it. Loot him. And you want to crouch. There's going to be two blinders. One down below and one up above. Just crouch over to here and climb the ladder. Very silently. You might want to take your shoes off and walk on your tips. Tippy toes. My tippy toes. That's it. Tippy toe passed in. Into the store. Keep crouched. Keep on your teeny tiny tippy toes. Through this door. Don't run, by the way. There's loads. There's literally tons of these guys in the next area. It's probably like 130 or something. Yeah, just walk. You don't want to trigger any of these too early. Otherwise, some of them, even if they don't see you, if they hear something, they might start, I think they glitch a little bit and just start running around like crazy. Yeah, a little edit there because I reloaded this bit because I messed it up a bit to the end. You want to try not to trigger any of these because it completely messes up this whole section. If you trigger any and you don't kill them all, you can just stab them all if you want to. If you want to get all the loot from them. Um, but it's... You're still going to get enough for the upgrade everything, guys. You don't really need to. Uh, but in the path you take, if there's any in your way, you can stab them from behind. Yeah, just carry on through. There is actually a trophy for sneak killing five enemies. Well, I think five of these as well. Five of these type enemies, yeah. If you sneak kill five of these, you get a trophy. As it carefully make your way through here. Very, very so careful. That's it and come through here. Even when you're through here, still walk because they can actually come into this room with the reforge. Funnily enough, yeah, they can follow you into here if they are triggered to your location. So all I do, I crouch up to the reforge, sell everything. Remember to keep your batteries. You need three batteries for the end of this chapter. And then I start walking. When you come in here, you can start to run. You need three batteries at the end of this chapter. Just if you if you come across any, just keep hold of them. I've got one at the moment. Yeah, come in here, grab the key cards. Back to the reforge and start to walk once you get back in reforge room. Come over to here, back through the shimmy. Once you get back in here, all the enemies, you want to crouch. Yeah, you might want to do a bit of stretching beforehand. A lot of crouching here. And it's very, very... Puts a lot of pressure on your knee joints. So a bit of stretching might help. Yeah, that's the trophy you'll get giving back. That's for stabbing them in the back five times. Self killing five enemies, five of these pinks. Yeah, grab that small container if you get a chance. Careful if there's any of these guys near it. You do not want to grab one of these by mistake for your grip. And trigger them all. Trust me, when you trigger one of these, they all go mad. Right, he can get out of the way because he's blocking my door. Just watch out if they get a nervous tw uh, twitch. It's just their nerves. Right, once you open that door, once you go through this area, a good sort of 10 or so steps, you can start to run, guys. Yes, yeah, so you want to run into this cave up ahead. Yep, 
Yep, loot that collectible. That's Dr. Shihan Yuan again. Yeah, loot that collectible and then loot this chest. You'll get an energy converter amongst other junk or materials that you might need. Carefully come down here. Now you see a small container on that frame ahead. You can grab it before you go further down. And then as you come a bit further down and you get to where the floor levels out, start to crouch because there can be two blinders. Stealth kill one or two if you want to. And then just carry on to the shimmy at the end. When you come back through later, these guys will be despawned. Now this bit's a pain in the ass. So over there is a small container. You just gotta be really careful. See, if, it, if you're a little bit too slow, they're all just gonna get in the way, you're not gonna be able to grab it. So ideally what you want to do is, you'd want to do this really, I mean, quickly grab it to begin with before the enemies get amongst it. Um, but either way, normally what you wanna do when you come down here is stab a few of these. I mean, I was quite lucky here, I managed to get past them. But that small sort of bottleneck just there. Yeah, them four enemies, they all sort of always swarm in that corner. And it can be tricky getting past. So it helps just to probably stealth kill a few of them. Or you might get lucky like I just did. But you make your way around here. Round back these pipes. And just make your way all the way around here, guys, to avoid them. Like I say, you can kill them all if you want. Stealth kill them. Stomp them for ammo or whatever. Well, it just takes so long. And then in this far corner, there should be a pristine energy converter. Right, and still crouching, make a way up here. And then once you're in this room, guys, you're pretty, you're okay to start moving then, start running. Now, when you come in here, just be ready to shoot that egg sack on the left before it grabs you. Grab a small container on the top there, loot it, loot these three lockers, and then sell everything in the reforge. Right, make your way around this corner. Yeah, grab that small container, loot it, and then drop down. Run over to spikes and turn around to be ready for a acid enemy to appear from that vent. There he is. Spin him around and lob him some spikes and loot his body. And then she's come through a shimmy gap. Right, you want to crouch here and look ahead and once you see the acid enemy appear, like you did just then, back up over to here and look at that vent. Now as soon as he goes through that vent and he disappears, like so, start running. Now don't walk like me, you want to start running. Yeah, you want to start running instantly, don't delay it. And then come here, try stick to the right. And you should be able to just get through here before the enemies appear. If they do appear like they did for me, and you're unlucky, not quick enough, just dodge a few attacks and then shimmy through here. This way you can avoid killing them all. If I ran straight away, I should have got through there before they spawned. You'll see me do that in my other playthroughs. So that's ideally what you want to do. Yep, and then come in here guys, climb this ladder.
and then you want to come through this little shimmy space. It's going to take through a secret. If you want hardcore or um, contagion, in that example, or new game plus even, you don't have to come through here. We're going through here just for a collectible and a trophy. So like I say, you don't have to come through here if you're not worried about collectibles. Just be careful, there will be some guys stuck in the walls, there's three. Just stay away from them, and they should not spawn. Yeah, so carefully come through here guys, like I say, as long as you stay far away from them, you shouldn't trigger them. Yeah, there's the third one. And here we are. Yeah, once you get into this room, it should pop this trophy in a second. Yeah, make sure you're ready to shoot that egg sack. Yeah, there we go. The commonality. Yeah, there'll be a few materials, so there'll be one on the left, two on the right. Obviously, loot the egg sack, loot this chest, and grab that collectible. Yeah, Yannick Sage, secret room two. Make sure you pick it up. Yeah, make sure you loot the chest. And let's go. Yeah, so just make your way back. You don't have to go all the way back through the cave. Uh, just come back over here. Obviously, try not to make too much noise. You don't want to trigger that guy on the left. And you can just come straight up these steps. Open this door. Grab these two materials off the um, terminal there. And then activate the power breaker. Right out here, you can grab that small container, grab whatever goodies you find inside, carry on across the catwalk and you'll find that small container on that sort of frame ahead as well, loot that. And come over here and flip the switch. One down. Right, normally when you pull that switch down, this enemy will come towards you. And if you make enough noise, there will be two other enemies which will come up as well. It's, it's not a bad idea to get rid of these because it will be more, less enemies down below. And this is a nice easy spot to kill them. Because there's only three enemies at the moment. Um, but once you come down this ladder there's going to be much more. So you might, once you put that leave down you might just want to run around for a moment upstairs on that catwalk. Sorry, up the ladder. On the catwalk. Just so all three enemies come up to you. And they kill them all and then come down the ladder, guys. Just that way, there'll be less enemies down here to um, try and avoid. Okay, and once you're down here, you want to come and pull this lever. But if anyone gets in your way, just try to backstab them. Just make sure there's no other enemies too close. Because what can happen while you're backstabbing one enemy, another enemy can, can sort of walk into where you're about to stop the animation. And then you sort of trigger them automatically. So just be careful. And then once you need, just take my path to the far end.
Yep, and then once you climb up here, you can't really run just yet. You can start to walk, uh, but once you get back to where the enemies are below, you have to crouch again, otherwise they will hear you, and they will come up and search for you. Yes, yeah, so once you get about here, you need to start crouching again. But once you pull this breaker, it will despawn them all. Yeah, they are now despawned. Power's on. I should get back to that platform. Jacob? Are you there? The power just Now just follow the power line back to um, where that reforge was earlier. There'll be a few enemies on your way, so just be careful and avoid them. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, this guy, you will have to kill him, because he's like literally right in your way. I guess you could sneak past him, but I always just kill that guy quickly. It's not too much trouble. He's all by himself. All by himself. Yeah, he is. Right back in here, there should be too many enemies now. So you haven't got this crate on the left here yet, small container. You can do so now. I've already got it. Just be careful, a few enemies will trigger when you do come through here, so just make sure you're not making too much noise. Remember, if in doubt, just go into your tippy toes. And once you get through the shimmy wall, guys, that will despawn all the enemies. Right, so um, hopefully you got in three batteries saved up, which I mentioned. Oh, look at that, I got four. Showing off now. Yeah, so if anything extra at the reforge, and then come in here. What you can do, because there's an autosave, you can actually, if you don't have enough batteries, loot these four containers, and if you do not get three batteries or more, then reload. Ideally, I mean, four batteries is better, but you can just do it with three. Yep, and um, once you're ready, start the lift. Yeah, there'll be four containers you can loot, four chests. Right. If you didn't loot once, you didn't have enough space, just remember and loot it later. So what's going to happen on this sort of um, this lift? Yeah, what will happen? So four enemies are going to spawn on each side of the lift. The lift is a square, so obviously it's got three sides. Oh no, sorry, that's a triangle. It, this is, the square's got five sides, hasn't it? Yeah, so each of the sides there's going to be four enemies which will spawn. And all you've got to do, grab them and launch them off the same side which they spawn. It's not always the same side which they begin with. I mean, they might spawn nearer the control panel first, or they might spawn at the spawn at the back near the, um, near the motor, near the big fan, or they might spawn on the left side or on the right side first. But once they've all spawned on one side, they will not spawn on that side anymore. So normal spawn on the front, on the back, on the left, on the right. Um, if you've got two already, then you obviously know where the next two are going to spawn, because you've already done two. And if you've only got one left, then you know if they've already spawned on left, right and the top, they know the last one, they're going to spawn on the back. So yeah. You get four and spawn, four spawn on each side at a time, guys. That's it. Quite easy. This is why you need. This is why it's good to have all your batteries saved up. Imagine if you had no batteries doing this, and you had to melee kill all eight or what? What is there? All t all sixteen of these. That'd be a lot, wouldn't it? But just having all them batteries makes it much easier, especially on Contagion. Contagion, you can't reload. So imagine getting here on Contagion mode. All that time it took to get here, and you died, and had to do it all again. That would be a little bit unfortunate. I think I would probably shed a tear or two, perhaps. 
Well, I think this is the last one now. The one near the motor. The uh, pedal at the back. You know once you've got them all, they'll be in auto safe. There you go. You can actually reload that to start this next bit quicker. Or just wait, because you have to wait in contagion mode. What's going to happen is two head is going to appear. What I mean by two heads is he's got two heads. And if you don't dodge any of his attacks, if he goes to attack you and you don't dodge it, you'll be instant killed. You do not want that to happen on contagion mode. So just be careful. If he's close, just always make sure you're holding left or you're holding right. Of course, do not hold forward or back. Always hold left. All right, and um, a nice easy way to kill this guy. So you know where he spawned in, near the um, near the control panel. Just keep dodging him, so he's back. What happens is as he attacks you and as he recovers, he takes a step back. So you basically want to try and bait him to keep stepping back towards where he came in, and it will eventually step over that step and fall down and die. And that's it guys, easy. You get that trophy, two heads are better than one. Or in this case, one head is better than two. Because we won. Yeah, so that's a nice way to cheese him guys. There's two two heads which you can cheese like that. But two of them you actually have to kill normally. With your brute strength. And your firepower I guess. But yeah, if you have any trouble doing that, then just reload checkpoint and keep retrying it, guys. There's a safe literally right before two head appears. So you can retry that if you want. Remember, on contagion mode, you need to get that right first time. And if you die, you have to restart that whole chapter. So you either need to practice it now or on hardcore mode when you have auto saves. Yeah, so in here, guys, on chapter 7, loot lat collectible. Uh, Dr. Wang, Alex Wang. And come this ladder and loot his chest. You'll get a pristine CPU printer, which is the most expensive item in the game that you can sell. That sells for 1500. 1500 credits, a lot. Wow, so many batteries. I've never had so many. It's a shame you can't buy them from the shop. I don't know why they're not available weird you can literally buy almost everything else you know which is like a consumable you can buy almost every other consumable except for batteries i mean you can buy you can't buy health gel but health injector is basically the same kind of yep yeah, once you got all them guys so you got a collectible you loot the chest make way through the cave and you're going to come to sort of um colony where are you see that light tower i don't know the sort of settlement within the mines whatever it is. Yeah, we need to make way up to Light Tower. But before you drop down here, grab that collectible. That's a minor log number two. And then just carry on forward. You'll jump out this window. Carry on ahead. The roof will collapse a little bit. Drop down. Grab this item on the floor. Pop through this window. And now you need to be a little bit quiet. Yep, so be a bit quiet now. Crouch. Or walk. But now, probably about right now, you need to crouch. Okay. Now you definitely need to crouch. So come over here. That guy is sleeping. You should probably wake him up. Or whatever. He'll go and talk to his buddy over there. This guy will come out that door think, what the hell is going on here? And just give him a moment. And he'll walk back near where he came from. And once he does so, climb up the ladder. Now it's left undefended. Right, once up here, just crouch, come around to the right. Never walk around these guys, they will hear you. Yeah, carefully grab a small container. Carefully don't accidentally grab an enemy from below. Because if you just accidentally touch him with your um, telekinesis... You'll trigger him. You don't don't want to do that. So just carefully grab a small container. Loot it. Go back to crouch mode. Come around here. This enemy will always spawn when you come in this super, supermarket. It is apparently. Just stick to the left. Wait for him to walk by and sneak kill him. 
Otherwise, she'll follow you probably almost all the way over here. And then once you get over here, guys, crouch and loot this container. Pull it to you. Stay crouched. If you start running now, you will trigger some enemies below, possibly. Loot these items. Loot the locker. Yeah, do not sprint, guys. You'll trigger the enemies below. You can maybe walk if you're lucky, like, you know, and walk like I'm doing. I didn't really trigger anyone. Just do not run, guys. You can even trigger enemies below from here. And I've got a key card from over here. Got it. I should head back to the elevator. Jacob. I found something. What? Just get up. Yeah, here. once you've got a key card, just make your way out here. And sneak kill this enemy from behind. Do not go in the bathroom. In the bathroom, there is a somatic and an energy converter. But I don't get it. I get somatic later. So don't you worry. Remember, we still got to get skunk gun somatic. And, um... No, no, no. Not skunk gun. The tactical pistol. We'll get them soon. I think we actually get them both in this chapter. So this guy... After taking that key card, you'll see a lot of different enemies spawn in and a lot of old ones despawn out. Yeah, once you come near, that enemy will come through always. Just wait for him to walk past by sticking to the left and then sneak kill him. Come over here, sneak kill this guy. And then sneak kill the other guy. Yeah, don't pick on don't pick on him, make sure you kill them both. Yeah, or else the other one thing has been picked on or like targeted for whatever reason. Yeah, once you kill both of them, you're safe at the moment. That's all the enemies dead for the moment time being. Yeah, come through here, grab this collectible. From Sleeping Beauty down here. And then grab this energy converter. Discard a battery if you need to. Yeah, grab the pristine energy converter. The shiny energy converter, that one. Right, come back down the ladder. Right, come down here. Grab that small cane container from the top of that sort of shack ahead. Which is sort of out of bounds. Come over here and open this. Come in here and quickly melee the guy on the floor. The um, legless guy. Torso enemy. To kill him. Loot him. Loot the locker. Yep, loot the locker guys. And then activate this generator. To access the elevator. And make sure you crouch afterwards. Because as, as you can see loads of enemies spawn in. After you start up the generator. So crouch. Come into the elevator. And use it. If you trigger the enemies when you come in here, you will not be able to use the lift, you'll be blocked. So to be very careful, you do not trigger the enemies before you come in. That's it, after riding it to the top, you also want to loot the collectible at the top. Yeah, so loot that collectible at the top of the um, elevator. Come out here. Before you jump out the window, just grab that guy and launch him out of bounds. Carry on up the steps. Up steps, you want to go right. Just ignore, I don't know why that guy doesn't actually attack you, just sprints away. Yeah, if you crouch through here, you won't have to fight this brute enemy. You could easily sneak kill him at, right now if you wanted to. But all we want is a collectible from that corpse, so make sure you go back collectible. Once you have a collectible, go back out where you came in. And then go in this room. Jump through the windows and then go into this far room. There'll be a chest in the far corner. And it'll have a decoder inside. Yeah, if you don't have enough, then just discard something. If you must. Yeah, discard the decoder. Uh, sorry, discard a battery pack. Right, I'm going to take gate fuse next. Over here. 
once you get this, it normally trigger a auto save and it spawns a load of enemies to spawn. So this first one will be right on you. Since you got it, turn around, run out, grab him and launch him over the edge. Run up to this guy. Just you want to grab him, turn around and drop him on the right. Come up here, try to zigzag. So if he spits at you from behind, he doesn't hit you. Quickly grab this guy, launch him out of bounds, come up here and quickly start in the gate fuse. If you're too slow, this will be blocked because an enemy will catch up to you. So you just want to be quick, launch that last acid enemy out of the way, sprint up there, open the door, and then come up here. I climb a ladder. Once you come into this reforge shop, you can reload checkpoint, there is an auto safe. But the reason I climb a ladder is because there's no auto safe on Contagion. And this is quite an important reforge because it's one right before a boss. But on Contagion, if you climb up this ladder, it will despawn the enemies. I think there's one normal enemy which can stay in the room. But if anybody else is in the room, they normally sort of despawn when you climb a ladder. So yep, yeah, little tip there guys, how to despawn any enemies chasing you into this room, just climb the ladder. Yes, and loot the health injector from the wall box, grab the two items on the table. Come over to Reforge guys, and sell some stuff. You want to make sure you keep some stuff for the boss. Probably want to keep like... Probably need if you've got fully upgraded, yeah. If you've got fully upgraded hand cannon, not I, I don't mean with the alternate fire. I mean with the damage upgrade. You probably need about 30 or 40 bullets for the hand cannon. You should have enough, but if not, you can buy some. Um, alternatively, if you've got some ammo for the hand cannon and the shotgun, that might make up for it. But you can, you've got a save here anyway to reload if you need to. But yeah, so make sure you've got enough ammo. Right, since the fight starts, hold right and run. Hold right and run. And you should run over here then. If you're not quick, he will instant kill you. So all I do, hold right and run. And then I'll come into here, turn around and start shooting. Now all I do, I just keep running the lap around this, around this sort of um, shack, around this building. Don't let him get too close, keep going for headshots. Now normally once you've done about one and a half laps, a normal enemy will spawn. So just watch out for him. Because you can get sort of double slaps if you're not careful. But once you see a single enemy, you want to try and get rid of it as soon as possible, just because it create it can create a bit of trouble. But you can quick run and lob it into wall spikes. Like there's the first enemy. Like I say, a few of them might spawn. But if you're really quick to kill it, you can actually kill it before the first enemy spawns. It's a little bit tricky with the pistol. But hopefully you can kill it before the second enemy spawns. So dodges attacks. You normally want to get far enough away so you can get a few shots in. And then get move away again, get a few more shots in and just repeat that. And there it is guys. Once you killed him, loot him for his CPU printer. You've got a breakable here, small container. Yeah, this way I'll kill that guy. So um yeah, he should drop loot, but I don't think I can grab it. Yeah, just down there. You can see it's shiny. That's so shiny, but I can't pick up, unfortunately. Yeah, you got a small container here. And you got another small container over here. Yeah, pick up all these, and then loot these two small containers in this next room on the left. Jump out the window. And loot the small container next to Danny. Yeah, that one just there. And then loot the one in the second room on the left after Danny. That's it. Should be seven small containers all together to loot in the sort of boss arena. Yeah, seven. Do you remember that? Right, come through this door next. So what's it like? Look at the small container just over the railing to the left. See what you get inside. Yeah, look, yeah. Like I was saying earlier, once you get so much ammo, you you start to always find health injector from crates. Well, it's, it's actually quite good actually. Yeah, grab this energy converter. I think it'd be really helpful for um. Be really helpful on New Game Plus. Yeah, New Game Plus. You might want to just keep hoard loads of ammo. You can't really do it when you begin a new game, just because you got so many, you got so little inventory slots, only six, until you get your suit. 
But New Game Plus you sort of begin with it, with the 12 slots. So it might really help on that. Yeah, after dropping down, grab all that loot now on the right, come over to reforge and sell everything except for your ammo. Yeah, don't sell any ammo now going forward, you're going to need all your ammo for another boss soon. And the end boss, yeah, sell no ammo. So once back near in the start area, impale them two on the spikes and there'll be a third enemy which normally spawns once you go near the middle of the map. Yeah, so... My idea was to wait for him to get in between me and the spikes and then just grab and launch. But as I imagined, he'd come through the window. Which I knew he would. Yeah, let's lob him into the spikes. Loot them if you need to. See what goodies they drop. Carrying over here, and once you get close to the ladder, another enemy should drop down. Get ready to lob him into the spikes. Very quick, instant kill. That's it, impale him. Impale him on his bum hole. Penetrates easier then. Because it's already access, if you get what I mean. Yeah, once you get the ladder, drop them two off. Just stand near where the uh, sort of fence broke away earlier and you can just grab and pull them towards you and let go come down there grab the tactical pistol somatic guys do not forget that yeah just on the right before i came in that door tactical pistol somatic do not forget to pick it up right and then come over here there is actually space later where that spawns again which i'll maybe point out if i remember in the next chapter near the start yeah grab that pristine decoder on the left there once you're back in the tunnels and then come over to this big blast door which Danny will open for you. Yeah, once she opens it, head through. Gonna be a boss fight soon. Yes, yeah, come through labs. You have to wait for a bit of dialogue before the door opens. Yep, carry on through afterwards. I want to this door, guys, you'll get that story trophy. Right, what we want to do now, we're going to get a misc trophy out of the way now. This is for doing a perfect dodge. I think it's five times. When you're going to combat assist and you want to turn off auto dodge. That's the easiest way to do this. And then what I do. Now with auto dodge turned off, you're going to have to alternate between left and right. You can't just hold left anymore or hold right. Now you have to keep switching. So left, right, left, right. And um, what you want to do to get this more easily, just keep tapping it really. Where's my controller? I tried to show you the sound effects. So know exactly what I'm saying. So get your finger on the analog stick. And when you're going left or right, just keep ta tapping it. Like so. So left, 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 left. And then right, 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 right. That's the easiest way to do it rather than trying to time it. It's so a perfect dodge, you literally need to, I think the timing is very tight. You have to press it just when it's attacks about to land. But if you just spam it, like keep spamming left and then keep spamming right. That's an easy way to do it. And then once you've got that trophy guys for dodging five times, perfect dodging five times. Put um, auto dodge back on and you can just do it the brain dead way and just hold left again or right to continuously dodge. And this guy, yeah, just keep, just melee him. Don't shoot him, just melee. No need to waste ammo when you can just melee him to death. 
And um, just like always, wait for him to finish this attack combo. And then do your attacks. And once you see the snapshot up here. That's your indication that it's going to be his turn next. So be patient guys and just wait your turn. Let him have his turn. And eventually he'll turn you around. And it automatically skip to this part where Danny magically appears. She'll open the lift for you. And you'll jump in and you'll take it up together. You'll end up here. You're going to carry on across and get on the um, transport lift. You're going to head to the funny colour in the Panopticon. Yeah, use the controls to activate it. Once you get to the opposite side, grab this item on the left. Loot the small container on the crates on the left. Come over here and grab this loot. Come over to Reforge if you want to and sell anything. Upload some matics if you want. You will be going to Reforge near the start of the next chapter, so it's up to you if you want to do this or just wait. Go right through here next. Grab that collectible. Yeah, grab that collectible, which is just on the right, just after you come through that door. I think that collectible's moved. Not too much. It used to be near the Reforge before, I think. But now you can find it there, just behind the door. So once you come in here, grab the Assault Rifle Somatic from the terminal on the left. Very important, the Assault Rifle Somatic. Come over here, grab a CPU printer in the far left corner, which I just picked up. CPU printer. And then come over to the main door, guys, and interact with it once it goes green. And that's the end of chapter 7. One more to go. Yeah, chapters 1, 2, 7 and 8 are fairly quick. Uh, your long chapters are like 3, 4, 5 and 6. You've got four long ones, four short ones. Yeah, so once you spawn in, you'll get a trophy, full circle. There seems to be some sort of glitch there, and if the cell door doesn't open for you, Normally if your audio doesn't trigger, as soon as you spawn in, it's not going to open. You have to just restart the save. Now this guy, just quick, keep trying to grab him. You might not grab him straight away, you might have to keep moving around and grabbing him. But just make sure you stay close to the door. But when you do eventually grab him, just launch him and it should instant kill him. And in this room we're on now, in that terminal on the left, just when you come through that door. I think it's the tactical pistol somatic you can normally get there. If you've not already got it. Come through here. Go to Reforge, guys, and sell everything. Yeah, except for your ammo, of course, you're going to need it. Yeah, so this is another two head coming up. Again, you're going to need about 30 or 40 hand cannon ammo. But as long as you're hoarding all your ammo from now on, it shouldn't be too bad. What you'll find, if you don't hoard your ammo and you have to buy some, it's quite expensive to buy. And even keeping your ammo and not selling it, you're actually saving more money because it saves you buying ammo in the long run. Yeah, so two phase, finish him off. This is taking me a lot longer than normal. Quite a lot longer. You'd normally be KO'd by now. Yeah, once you... um, I didn't say that earlier, did I? That once you um, decapitate him the first time, you have to... Well, once you knock him down, you have to go and melee him to death to um, trigger him to uh, rip his head off. Probably going to have to go back and edit that in there. It's quite an important thing. That's something you don't really think of to begin with. Yeah, you can't melee him normally, can you? So you instant kill you. But um, you have to melee him. You don't have to, but it will help you to kill him much quicker. If you melee him when he gets stunned. Make him pull his head off. 
Yeah, so once killed him, make sure you loot him for the CPU printer, grab the gate fuse, then go back outside and use gate fuse to open the next door. Yeah, take out the broken one. And then put in the new one. Out of the old in with the new. Loot that small container. What was going on here? Grab the CPU printer on the printer over there. Now come over here. Now as long as you haven't reloaded any saves, this enemy should be dead. And you can grab this collectible, smash your glass and grab it. That's collectible, it's been moved. It used to be this side of the window, but now it's actually inside the cell. And if you're having trouble actually interacting that collectible, so it's a bit of a glitch where you can't pick it up sometimes. I found if you get to the collectible without reloading any autosaves from the start of the chapter, it doesn't seem to glitch. I might have just got lucky, but the time it glitched for me, I would start the whole chapter and then I got there without using autosaves and then I could pick it up, so you can try that. Now, here, Normally when you reach his bed, two enemies spawn, the guy on the bed wakes up and the guy comes from that next room on the left. If you drop these guys on the bed, it kills them. Yes, and this bed isn't as soft as it looks, it's actually nails. Which is a blanket put on top. But yeah, just drop them on the bed and it'll instant kill them. Yeah, these guys really have some sort of phobia of sleeping. Sleep phobia. And once you get further up the passage, one normal enemy will spawn along with two bombers. Just kill him however you see fit. There's actually another bed on my right, which can instant kill enemies as well. This one here, like a, a cot. Yeah, you can drop him on it like so, get a nice quick kill. In this room on the left, there'll be a small container. And carry on up to the, towards a small door on the left. And the acid enemy will burst free. You can kill them like the other ones if you want, if you just want to back up, down, back down the passage and put them towards you and drop them onto the bed. Another way to kill this guy quickly. It's got to watch your battery though, remember? The thing is, if you're on hard mode, you can just reload to get all your recharge back. That's it, finish him off. Or just stay still for a few minutes to recharge it all. Yep, then once you get a bit further up, one enemy will spawn from a vent. What I normally do is I try to get the explosive canister ready to lob it at him and like normally most of the time is to kill him. And then you can kill this fat guy all by himself. You see these two normally spawn at the same time, that's why you want to use the canister to get rid of that one as quick as possible. Otherwise these guys are a pain in the ass. The fat zombie. Yeah, fat zombie, don't try fight him on the steps. If you try fight him on the steps, you can't, for some reason you don't, you can't dodge on the steps and you always get hit. Now when you get down here, these two enemies can be dropped on this bed here for a nice instant kill. If the second one's not coming out, just get his attention and then wait. Yeah, they can drop them on the bed just like so. Once you've got them, obviously grab the loot. There'll be a wall box on the right here with an injector inside. And you've got energy converter over here in the corner. Pristine energy converter. Once you've got that coming here, lob that guy that spikes behind him. Lob this guy that spikes behind him. Or just launch him into it with eight upcuts. Then loot these two. This way it can be tricky with contagion mode for your battery. But what you would do in between each of the sort of enemies as they spawn. So you don't, they sort of spawn as you progress, not like they all spawn at once. You can just wait for your battery to recharge. Yeah, so here you've normally got the um, the bomber and the acid enemy outside. You can normally shoot the bomb like I did. Or the acid enemy, you can wait for him to come in this room you're in, lob him with spikes, or just try to shoot that explosive barrel when he gets close. And that should insta kill him most of the time. Loot their bodies, come in here, loot a small container. Then come out here guys, there'll be one more enemy in here. Try to pick him up quickly and lob him over the top to kill him. Grab a small container. That's it, put you and loot it. That small container, if it drops below, you can still loot it. 
But the enemy, if he drops below, he seems to just despawn completely. Now down here, get ready for a small container. Which jumps at you from outside the screen. Right, then go left. Make sure you've got some battery. Pull off that vent cover before you go any further. Right, this guy, quickly grab him. Let go and then upcut him. And then while you're here stunned, quickly come over here and interact with the vent. That way, you should be able to get in here, guys, without fighting these two enemies. Now, when you get out of this vent, you're going to quickly turn to the right, run forward a few steps, and then melee the invisible stalker. And as you melee him, once Snapshot appears, you can start shooting him until he's dead. So like I say, as soon as you get outside the vent, this is how we're going to do it on contagion mode. Turn left, go forward a few steps, and maybe the stalker. Yeah, once snapshot appears, shoot him a few times to kill him, that's it. Now when you loot him, be very careful, you do not interact with the panel on the left. You do not want to open that door. You think you can't do it, just wait, because what happens, you see them two enemies on the other side. They will eventually run away after they try to reach you for about 10 seconds. Yeah, they'll run away and despawn. Uh, so you want to come up here, grab that gate fuse on the right, either melee, shoot this guy or lob him into the spikes, loot him, come over here, open the door. Yeah, this is what happens, if you accidentally go to loot that stalker, sometimes might open this by mistake, and let the enemies in. We've just leave them, they despawn like the enemies much earlier in chapter, is it chapter 3? I think it was where the enemies despawned after looking at you for so long. Yeah, so once you come back up this passage, keep to the right because there's an enemy in the room on the left which will spawn if you get too close, that enemy just there. This way you can avoid him. Yeah, put in the gate fuse, come up here, loot the wall box for your health injector and then sell a thing except for ammo at the reforge. The choice is yours. Yeah, you might want to keep battery packs as well. Yeah, come in here. And get ready to kill this acid enemy. You've got four batteries, you should be able to lob him on the spikes to the right. But sometimes you have to position, you have to hold him for a few seconds just so you can get close enough and um, make sure that sort of the claws above the middle of the middle um, bed don't get in the way. That's it. Loot him. Loot that small container on the shelf ahead. Come over here. Now you see this sort of yellow hatched floor in on the on the marking on the floor. Normally, once you walk past that, that's normally when Two Face appears. Don't walk too far forward, otherwise you might trigger other enemies. There's a bomber in here as well, and a normal enemy. Normally you don't trigger if you don't go too far forward. Now what you want to try and do now, try to get behind him, without going up the path where he came from. And get him so he's facing, this back's facing the fans, the propeller. Now you just need to back him into it, for an instant kill. Yes, yeah, keep backing him up, like so. And there we go, guys. Yeah, once you killed him, quite funny, ain't it? Yeah, loot his body for CPU printer. Just carefully don't run into the fan by yourself. That's how we're going to kill him on contagion mode and hardcore mode, so remember that. Yeah, up on the far right corner, there'll be some items on one of the trolleys. And there's this vent near the far, this vent near the far fan. Pull it off and grab the two containers and loot them. And over here, you can grab the bomber. Lob him at the wall to blow him up. And that's all the enemies now, guys, until the boss. Yeah, come in here. Come through the security gate. Go through the next security gate. Go right. And grab the um, pristine decoder, guys, from the crate on the right. Come in here. Grab this last collectible. Actually, it's one more, but that one always pops a trophy. There you go, Grim Reaper. If you haven't got a trophy, then it's probably because you missed one. What you can do, you can check your log in the text log and see what chapter is missing. And then what you can do is... Um, 
It's on New Game Plus. You can look at my text guide and you can just hey, grab anyone which you think you missed. Doing? If you grab the one you think you missed, that should pop the trophy. I mean, I've not done it myself, but I've read that if you missed one or two in your first playthrough, you can grab the one you missed in New Game Plus and that pops a trophy. Because if you go into New Game Plus, you actually carry across all your collectibles, which is nice. How are you feeling? Yeah, text guide, I've got them all labelled and such. Yeah, once you get control back of that cutscene, grab that energy converter. Did you see that? See what? Yeah, also if you find it hard to identify what you're missing, because all all slots are filled in, a lot of collectibles might have for the same person they might have sort of four logs for them. To tell if there is such so, like for, um, what's her name? Is it Caroline, is it Mauler? Or Caitlin Mauler? Uh, for her, if you look on her actual page for her logs, it says like, it will say like, the key card will say like one off one, but actual logs will say like four, something off four. Like him, for example, Duncan Cole, it says two or three. Um, there, Caitlin Mailey, see, one off one for the key cards for the implant and then four off four so for the actual log. What so yeah, if you're struggling to find out what one you did miss, just check that because maybe you missed one of them logs. Yeah, but like I say, you do get one. I think you actually only need the implants. There are specific collectibles that count as implants. I think you only need them, but we get them all just in case it's some sort of bug. And you know where they all are then. If it ever gets patched, if it is a bug, who knows. But yeah, that's the final collectible, that one there, Cole's Triumph. Just on that table on the right, the final collectible. Like I say, we popped the trophy earlier. I think that's just because that final collectible, it doesn't actually give you an implant, the implant you already have. Obviously, it just gives you a bit more. Danny? It's the way I guess. And now you're just an additional Danny's log. The and when we get her through here, guys, into this memory, just turn around after... Um, walk into the brick wall and give yourself a black eye. Turn around and uh, go pick up the pink music box or try to. Once you've got that, there'll be a little cutscene. Just get through it. Right, yeah, what you might want to do now is go into, just go into photo mode and take a picture. I actually forgot to do this and I had to reload and do it at the end. So I didn't actually pop platinum at the end of the game, I had to take a stupid picture. Um, but you want to come over here. UGC yeah, so sell everything except for ammo. You're going to need about 60 ammo for this fight. Either 60 pistol or probably about 40 shotgun. But you've got a mixture of both, it should be okay, like I say. Equivalent of about 60 pistol ammo. Obviously, shotgun's a bit more powerful, so you need a bit less. But yeah, like I say, just try and make sure you've got a good amount of ammo. You can make a save here. Uh, yeah, just going to go up here now and get all this loot. Do not interact with that panel um, just near the front of this corridor, because interact with that panel will begin the next boss fight. And what I normally do here, before I do all the upgrades, I make a save. Yeah, save your game, so if you do need to reload later for anything, you know, if in case you need to do anything like reforge or or whatnot, do some testing with the boss for whatever reason, and you're ready for contagion mode, just make sure you've got the boss fight down to a T. Yeah, you probably want to make a manual save right now. But once you looted all that, we're just going to head back to the reforge. Now we know exactly how much ammo we've got, and we know if we need to craft any more. Yeah, that panel just on the left there, do not interact with it until you're ready for the boss. Yeah, you actually want to max upgrade something now to get the max upgrade trophy required for platinum. Yeah, so that should be enough ammo, guys. Plenty of ammo there. Yeah, I almost forgot. I went, just went back to do it now. Yes, yeah, so there's my manual safe. Yeah, if you haven't already, go and what you want to fully upgrade is a hand cannon. Just remember it. Yeah, do not forget to take that picture. Photo mode, you just press options to open up the um, pause menu and you'll be photo mode in there. All you gotta do is take a picture. I think you press share to take a picture. 
there'll be like a, a prompt on screen that will say share at the bottom and the button you press press that and that takes snapshot and the pop the photo trophy now yeah max upgrade the pistol there you go you get the trophy you need a gun that's the cheapest thing to upgrade that's why i upgraded it don't use the ultimate fire it's a complete waste of ammo Yep, and then once you're ready guys, begin the final fight. It's a shame you can't unlock infinite ammo on this, because it could, it could be nice then, because then you could just go through a game using using um, alternate fires, but you never really get a chance to, because it, it uses up so much ammo, and it doesn't really do much damage. For the amount of ammo it uses, the damage it does doesn't is not really equivalent of you know that amount, so it's a bit of a shame really. Probably like you know, like most most features within this game, I guess. Yeah, so this guy, just like before, is going to melee him to death. So let him finish his combo, and then melee him until the snapshot appears. Then that's your trigger to know is to let him take his turns. Yep, and once you've done enough damage, there'll be that little cutscene, and they got a true final boss, this big guy, which is annoying. So he'll sometimes spit acid at you. The only way to dodge it is to get behind the pillar like so. And you just want to keep shooting him guys. Keep shooting him, running him away, turn around and shoot him again. If you've got auto aim on, you should always hit him in the edge, which way you want to be aiming. Yeah, normally after burst, once you burst his protective bubble and you activate his head. Once you shot it enough, it'll sort of stun for a moment, like so. And that indicates He's sort of going on to his next phase. Not his next phase, but you've sort of taken off, I guess, one chunk of health. And um, what I'll also signal, it'll spawn in two bombers. So to look out for two bombers, what I normally do, I shoot his protective shield, then I shoot him into the head until I stun him. Then I run to the opposite side. Obviously, always try to stay near pillars so you can hide behind him if you, if you need to, to dodge his acid. And when you're dodging him, if he gets close, make sure you're holding left or right to dodge. Because if you don't hold left or right, he will instant kill you just like two headers. Yeah, so it will happen three times. You'll get a protective shield, you'll burst it. It will happen three times. You'll spawn three sets of two bombers. And then after the three times, he will have no, no longer have a protective shield. Then it's just a few more shots and finish him off. There should be loads of health gel around the outside of the map, which you didn't get earlier. You know when you were looting the outside before the boss fight. Yes, yeah, so you can get all that health gel if you need to. Remember, each time you take up a chunk of health, go and look around for two bombers. Run to the opposite side of the map and get two bombers. If you've got no battery left, just shoot them instead. And if you run out of ammo with your hand cannon, switch to your riot gun and continue using that, guys. That's it, just keep laying into him. Not much more left. I think this is his last chunk of health. Then it should be one more set of bombers. And then not much left to do. Like I say, he'll get his protective shield three times. I think this is the third time I've burst it. So um, after this stun, yeah, two more bombers. And then I'll just shoot, give, give him a few more shots. In the head. There you go, I've just stunned him. Just gonna run a good distance away. Look out for the bombers as I'm running away. So just lob him to kill him. You can try and lob them at him, but especially just grab him and kill him. Just so you don't get into trouble. And do not do that. It hurts if you make a bomber explode too close to your person. Right, so now he shouldn't have a protective shield, as you can see. So it's going to get a few more shots in, and that should end his life. Right, onto right gun, run out of ammo. And there we go guys, got it. So all you gotta do now is run to the end. Now this escape sequence, do not hang around, you can actually die here if you stand around for too long. Yeah, if you stand around for too long, you'll get to the end and it'll just explode. 
So yeah, don't just stand around. Just sprint to the end. And you also want to make a safe game here. So you've always got an end game safe. Because what will happen when you do when you want to do new game plus, you always reload you always load it from a, a safe here. Where you run into the escape point. This is where the game makes a sort of end game autosave. And when you load a new game plus, it loads a autosave from this section, the escape. And um, once you begin an auto, once you begin a new game plus, it will start overwriting autosaves eventually, and it eventually overwrites your your end game autosave. But if you've got a manual save, it will never be overwritten unless you obviously overwrite it yourself. So yeah, just make sure you make a manual save, guys, at the end, just for future reference if you need it. And there you go. So you should get a maximum survivor trophy there, and you should always get a trophy for completing the game. And if you've done the photo mode trophy, like I say, I forgot, but if you've already done the photo mode trophy, you should also pop the platinum here as well. Like I say, I had to reload it afterwards. I do belong here. I think that's for completing the game. And the protocol is about life. I think that's for completing on maximum security. So yeah, I didn't pop platinum. So what I ended up doing, I actually had to um, just go back into game and do photo mode. You'll see here. I'm just missing a photo mode trophy, stupidly forgot to do it. I was actually worried here, I thought I missed something really important, but then... Yeah, it was just taking a picture, a little snapshot. Yeah, so I just got to reload it, and you'll see that, yeah, you'll unload, un well, unlock New Game Plus. You only unlocked it for normal mode, by the way. To unlock Hardcore New Game Plus, you have to complete Hardcore Mode. Same with Contagion, it's a bit annoying really. To unlock New Game Plus for each mode, you actually have to complete it in that mode once. Yeah, so one picture. And there we go, guys. Took a picture, mugshot. And got Platinum. It's over, Jacob. Yeah, so that's Platinum, guys, in one playthrough. And that's off currently the latest update at the time of making the, making the guide, just after the final DLC. So I don't think they're going to make much changes after that and what I want to do now I just want to quickly show you the arm to the teeth trophy yeah so this is here guys this way you'll see me get the arm to the teeth trophy this is for fully upgrading every weapon and to get this I had to go through new game plus again just following following on from that playthrough we just did and um, I did everything exactly the same but I collected a little bit less I didn't collect all the optional stuff which is along the way where we grab the um, main collectibles because I don't have to collect them all of course, we just got them all in the first playthrough. So I did everything the same, but I just got a little bit less. And I still had enough to upgrade at the end. I had about 2,000 extra, as you can see, once I sell all this ammo, I got about two, two and a half thousand extra. So, if you follow me exactly this first playthrough, you have way more than enough. But if you just avoid them optional collectibles along the way, you will definitely have enough. And after this, you really want to go straight into Final Transmission DLC. Finish your game, go into that guys, and then ready for the next one. Yeah, so thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.